Hello, and welcome back to the Belkinus Necro Hunt. Welcome to session four, everybody. It is a, a very exciting day. We return to the rundown ragged tavern uh, slash inn that you guys were staying at in Yedzel, uh that Eris has lent you rooms thanks to Luna's reputation there. And uh, Luna, when you, when you awake, you awake in the embrace of your partner, Scorpio. And he is just playing with your hair. It seems he's been awake for a little while. Uh, well, Luna sleeps like a fucking rock. So she's resistant at first and finally it's like, all right, all right, I'm up, I'm up. Ah, good. Because I've got a present for you. Is it <laughs> Should I be concerned? Ah, uh, no, no, <laughs> no. He gets up and he looks over to his packs and he starts rummaging through them. I know you don't like anyone touching your swords. I still think I have a scar from that time I tried to sharpen yours as a favor. <laughs> Sorry so, about that. <laughs> no, 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 I understand. You know, protective over your things. So, instead, <laughs> I got something else for them. Imported from the tropics, he tosses you a jar of some kind. They, yeah. appar they apparently fight even bigger monsters over there and need extra tools. This one helps bring them to their knees. Huh. What's it made out of? Uh, Curious. Some kind of dragon's blood. Strange alchemy. Not quite sure. And you have just gotten exhaustion oil. Oh, fuck yeah! Holy so shit! You can, uh, here, I'll copy this over to send it to you. So, it has five uses. And as a bonus action, you can apply this to your weapon, and the next enemy damaged by that weapon in the next minute will have disadvantage on all strength, dexterity, and constitution saving throws for one minute. Oh, hell yeah. Ooh. She, uh, she, she looks like, at it for a second, and she's just kind of like looking at the, you know, looking at it and like taking in what it is. Uh, did he come back over to me, or? Yeah, he did, he still... after he tossed it to you and packed up the rest of his yeah. bag. Yeah, no, she's gonna give him a kiss. Aww. Thank you. It's very thoughtful. Probably gonna need it too. Um, gonna be outside of Belkin's borders for about two weeks. Outside? What for? We got hired for a very important job. One I really can't talk about. Um, mm. It has to do with those... Those people who've been going around. The ones in the cloaks, the spine. Ah. Well, do be careful. And he, he sits next to you and just takes your hand. It don't seem like the them. uh very friendly sort. Oh no, they're not. We already ran into them. Um there was we took a girl from Belkinus proper. We barely got there in time. Poor things maybe nine seasons she's was young. Gods. I think they're the same people that did what they that did what happened out there and that they might have tempered with my father's team. He clutches your hand a little bit tighter. Are you uh I won't lie to you, Luna. It's uh it's not pretty. Are you sure you want to go see it? Absolutely. All but right. <laughs> I'm supposed to be looking after it. That is true. What happens? Can you at least I don't know, prepare me beforehand? I think it best you see it for yourself, but um, I don't think much can be salvaged. I'm sorry. I will she accompany grip, you. She grips his hand, maybe a little too tight, and then like releases it, like the grip immediately realizing that, oh man, that might have hurt. Yeah, you see him flinch a little bit. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Sorry. Yeah. I, I mean, I'd like the others to come, but yeah. Let's... Let's talk about it downstairs, yes? Ah, sounds good. And he starts to get dressed. And the rest mm -hmm. of you, how are you getting up? Uh, I am going to rise up from my bed and turn and stand, going over to the cabinet. I open it, and I get my uniform, the yellow overcoat and large yellow brimmed hat that I normally wear. After putting on my vest, and all of the other intricate things that no one ever sees because I have a giant yellow big thing <laughs> on. Uh, and then I'm going to go downstairs and I'm going to do my best 
to find a shower. <laughs> yep. When you do, uh, Eris, you can see that she's just uh, lounging around in one of, the, one of the chairs. She seems to be playing cards with another tavern goer, and uh, she sees you looking around eh, down the hallway to the right. I nod and start going in that direction. All right. And you wash up with icy cold water. It is like any any colder, and you feel as though you are being pelted by hail. My face betrays no emotion. <laughs> of <course it> does. <laughs> uh, in the meantime, All the other two. All of this two... is Joe just trying to get emotion. <laughs> in the meantime, trying to get the rise. Actually, you know what? This is so icy cold. I'm gonna need a Constitution saving throw from you. <gasps> oh, that's not good. Ooh, that's oh, no. awesome! Yes. Oh, so, so can I get oh, an advantage no. because of my cold, dead heart? You know what? Sure. <laughs> why not? Fantastic. <laughs> this is it's, still going, anyway. it's still going to be a very bad roll. Yeah. Ah, oh, no. you, you have a seven, and <laughs> you your face betrays no emotion, but your shivering body wants to be dead. <laughs> <laughs> nice. But uh, yeah, the other two, uh, Renee and Enoch, how does your morning go? Uh, I wake up, uh, arm detached on the floor probably a couple feet away from me because I probably passed out from um, <laughs> a very, very unfortunate last night. And coming to slight headache and I get up and I begin to kind of just rummage and put everything on and I find the piece of paper that I made from last night. Mm. And my heart sinks a little bit. <laughs> As I begin to read it over, I realized he did it again, and I'm very upset. <laughs> Motherfucker. <clears throat> and oh. as I begin to read the entirety of its inscription, it does come back to me on how, how it is all done. And to practice, I am going to cast Prestidigitation on myself. To clean myself up as much as I can. Okay. And I reattach my arm. I put everything on. And I start heading down to the main uh, to the main tavern area. You can see that uh, Eris uh, just finishes up playing some cards with the uh, with the other tavern goer who leaves and bids her farewell. And she looks to you. Would you like some breakfast? Uh, do you happen to have, uh, I'm going to regret this, a big breakfast? Mm, last thing, I gave you something big. You nearly pissed on my floor. <laughs> uh, it's a big breakfast. Eggs, hash brown, sausage, another hash brown. You've got raisins toast. and bread. Will that do? <laughs> yeah, that'll do. All right, raisins and bread it is. And she has a very, like, tired of your shit looking on her face. She goes what in back, fuck? starts rummaging through. Oh, this is a typical it. day for her. She is unfazed by most things. Oh, God. I, I choke down a fistful of raisins and split the bread in half and just kind of keep it to myself with a side of water. She does, she does give you a little side of some kind of very... Uh, very orangey looking butter on the side as well. Oh, what's that? Aged butter. It's best thing we got up here. I I put some on the bread and take a bite. What does it taste like? Like mold. Mm, that's that's something else. I. Mm hmm. It's a tough environment. Need to be tough folk to live. That Boy, butter, howdy, that is... A butter, not very tough. The right amount of pasteurization might assist in that. <laughs> <laughs> she goes back to preparing some similar meals for the rest. And Renee, how does your morning go? Um, Renee has just started making her way down the stairs. She actually has her hair all tussled up. She, like, has her makeup on. She is 
pristine and ready for the day. Unfortunately, me- there is not enough coverage for the bags under her eyes. She got up super early to make sure that she was ready and clean and good to go for whatever was happening today. You are oh. not catching this girl at her worst. Oh. Can you give me a general <laughs> charisma check? Good job. Ooh, okay. We're gonna, okay. Ooh. Ooh, shit. Hello. Oh, that was a save. Come out with your face fucking Uh, beat. Well, what's your, your, well, your normal thing Uh, would be a plus four. My normal thing's a plus four, yeah. Plus four, so that would be be a 17. 17. Only 17. It's pretty good. You come on down the stairs, and you can see Eris is preparing. She, she hears the stomping, and she looks up. All right, I've got breakfast for, and she stops, and she looks at you, and she starts to fan herself a bit and look away. Got you some breakfast. (laughs) Oh, well, thank you so much. I very much appreciate that. And, like, as soon as she kind of, like, catches that, she's immediately like, let's turn on the charm. I <laughs> like, <should>. Let's go. <laughs> yes. <laughs> she turns her head and clearly tries. It's very clear on her face that she's trying not to look at you. Renee will make her way over to the bar and just, like, sit. She does, like, the the leg over leg and just, like, leans on the, the bar, just waiting. And as you uh, are on the bar, she uh, says, um, we've got um, special special uh, reserves, Butter, if if you would like. Hey. <laughs> the plot exactly uh, Butter is in here. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> oh, well, that sounds absolutely lovely. I would very much appreciate it. Hmm. If you don't mind the hassle, of course. Oh, no, 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 no hassle. I, I just, you know, it... You've got a long journey on your hands. I'm sure that you could use the extra energy. Oh, you are far too kind. Thank you so much. She she gives the slightest of non-sarcastic smiles. Heads She'll on give in. a little wink. <laughs> I'm and doing that cat monkey pose right now. <laughs> <laughs> and about about this time, everyone has finished, you know, kind of getting ready and all arrive in the main dining place of the tavern uh, in the early morning, about now. I will request a warm tea. Yep. She, uh, Eris gives, pours you a cup. It's some very typical herb and tea. Nothing special. Very, very common. Commonly used uh, herbs and ingredients. Not exactly something that you'll find in the capital, but it's the best we got. Appreciate it. I will take it. And I will nurse it as it slowly warms my cold-blooded body. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh, oh, that's I was right. going to die <laughs> as, yep. as a cold-blooded creature. Tiny my Vivi. body temperature is whatever is around me. Oh, no. <laughs> you shouldn't have um, brought Snake Man here. It's okay. It'll be fine. I believe in Snake Man. <laughs> Renee's just like no, eating her just like, toast. It. We should have saved one of the warg bodies so we could have made you a pelt to wear. I I will survive by the smiles that my friends give me. That's cheesy as fuck and you're lying. None of you are my friends though, so I will die. (laughs) Exactly. That's the problem. But now Renee is just like happily like munching on her like nicely buttered bread. Mm -hmm. You can, the the butter that she gave you, the stick is like actual stick that you would find in like the grocery, like a grocery store, as opposed to like a <laughs> lump of like weird orangey green mix that she gave uh, Enoch. Oh, this is so smooth. It tastes wonderful. Oh, good for you. <laughs> Are you I'm having so a hard good. time up here, Enoch? I suppose. <laughs> I told you not to drink oh. that last night. I told you, you please, you'd be regretting it in the morning. Please don't yell at me. I'm. This is not yeah. yelling. R- oh, that right. is so loud! Can you please just like He's twenty decibels lower? I I understand. Renee, that. Uh, Renee very much has like a very like childish grin on her face, and there, there's this like look in her eyes of like I'm gonna do it. <laughs> uh, I would suggest Enoch that you don't drink so often. It leads to. Uh, unwanted results here take this and i will slide my hot tea to him oh i <laughs> you could see a, a light warm smile under the under the pain of a throbbing headache thank you Don't kindly 
Don't look at me like that. It's just... You cannot operate properly under a hangover. And I pull out that my ledger is... and I will look at it and I will not look at Enoch. <laughs> that is very true. Also, Sorry. it looks like your hair is a little bit out of place and tussled. Like, did you take any time to prepare yourself for the, for the morning? Or did you just roll out the, down the stairs? Uh, this is all what you get. Ugh. What you see is what you get. I'm sorry. I come mean, here. at least I'm she clean. Just, like, no, no, no. Come here. You're like, she's going to like style your hair. Like, <laughs> you have to look uh. presentable. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I suppose. So he kind of leans back and takes off the hat. It's all like you can see the random strands in every which direction. The the pulled back ponytail and the long elongated sides. Uh, all right, hold still. And she will like try to like tug at her little like gloves before like basically just pulling his hair like out of the ponytail and just running her hands through his hair and like getting it situated in a way that'll actually look presentable. She's not walking around with a man who looks like <laughs> who looks like a hot mess. Uh -uh. <laughs> not in this house. <laughs> It takes the village. It does. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, she will style it and throw, like, Aww. give him back the, uh, I guess, the thread that he was, like, holding the, his hair back with. In any case. Thank you. What is our next move here? I am refer I defer to Luna, considering it's your home. Well, a I'd like to go see if there's anything that we can find at the gravesite, but I, I kind of like look at Scorpio as I'm talking. There's not much left, it sounds like. Anything that would be useful, though? Maybe. Anything is better than nothing at all? He he rubs your shoulder, even if it's closure. Oh no, there's not going to be closure until I catch the person who did it. He tilts his head, all right, fair <laughs> enough. <laughs> I... Um, <laughs> Can I get a read on these two? Because, like, to be quite honest, I, Enoch, as intelligent as he is, he's a fucking idiot. I have a question. Would it have, would it be, like, a, a reasonable assumption that me and Scorpio came down together? Yeah. Oh, okay, so. so there's that. <laughs> Unless you I'm, want to roll Enoch's complete social ineptitude, you can roll me an insight check if you'd like. <laughs> <laughs> Do it, I dare you. Uh, you won't. Sure. I mean, to be fair, you were busy with your hangover, so you had other shit you could have been focused on. <laughs> I mean, I, I just, I'm just trying to read the room the best I can. Well, uh, you can role play that however you so wish, unless you would like to roll for it. I mean, if he's looking so dumbfounded, Renee is going to lean over like, they're those kind of partners, you know, the. <laughs> I have no idea what that means. Ugh. I stare, my head raises up and I stare into the middle distance as I think, Enoch doesn't know what sex is. <laughs> uh, and you, you would be right. Oh God. She just looks at him like, they're together, romantically. Oh. Oh, 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 am I hearing this? This probably because Renee is saying it loud enough to call Enoch out on a shit. Yeah, you can see, like, you can see Scorpio is very me. uncomfortable at the open, com open talk about They are romantically mm. involved. So anyway, we were going to go look at this graveyard, yeah? Oh. Yes, please. Mm, yes. Right. Save him before it's too late. Luna is going to like kind of like lean her arm on his shoulder, just, you know, playfully, but she kind of likes getting him flustered, so. Duh. Would it be possible to incite this man? I, I'm going over uh, the that's fact what that I was they're fucking. Try I'm not and worried do. about that. I'm not about Scorpio <laughs> specifically. I'm not about <laughs> I like, I have a theory, but I'm trying to get a read off of him and how he feels about us going to the gravestone. You can give me an insight for that, yeah. Um, I know nothing. <laughs> yeah, he, yeah, he looks a little bit uncomfortable generally, it seems. I, I guess I don't even have to make the, uh, that roll because my social ineptitude was... <laughs> it yeah. was it's enough. Out for it you. was proof enough! Yeah. <laughs> Please save him before it's too late and I have to start explaining to him the belt and bees. <laughs> okay, no, we're not going to do that. I, so please. please. I, I'm going to stand up. Never mind. Never, I'm not mm -hmm. even going to try. 
Uh, assume you've all finished breakfast, yes? Yeah, you've all, oh, you've yes, all about lovely. finished by now. And Renee will, will give like tea. a little tip to the, the bartender. And she does like a little uh, wave with her fingers and kind oh. of avert, averting her eyes a bit. She does uh, the like, little tell wave me to I back. This. Do I notice this? You can please give me an me insight. She's this. trying to hide it best she can. <laughs> okay, please. God. 14? She's a horrible actor. She's, uh, Eris <laughs> is like trying to wipe the tables, but the tables are clean. Uh, <laughs> and she's looking around. She's like, oh, look at that. And just kind of like uh, running her hands <laughs> across nothing. Uh, how much was the breakfast? Oh, um, it'll be on the house, just like uh, the rooms. Uh, you know, I, I don't need that much business. You know, it's this place doesn't require much upkeep. Uh, Bed okay. and breakfast. Thank you. And I'm you can sure see you can see her sneak a glance at Renee. Also, uh. Oh. You know, you should try and talk to her. And I'm going to uh, then move away from the bar. <laughs> she just uh, just kind of tapping the, kind of clutching her fist. It looks like she's about to oh punch God. you. <laughs> Don't you have a mission you've got to go do? Yep, we're on our way. I'll see you when I'm back, Eris. I, I, look, I look at the, the Dragonborn lady and I'm all like, just looking back, it's just like, yeah, no, this ain't, I, I have no idea. And I just begin to walk out. <laughs> I I will step out and leave. Scorpio follows the rest of the group. Renee just looks very proud of herself. <laughs> <laughs> Renee just kind of gives you a nudge. You're going to have that poor woman fainting, Renee. Oh, no, that's the mission. Oh. Is that so? Oh. Uh, and she just kind of like gives you like a like a little like a, a smirk like oh no no not like that listen if i can get m if i can get some away with not having to pay for shit then that's even more fantastic oh don't don't do Aris like that <laughs> i'm not trying to you asked first i was going to pay and then i put the money on the table and everything and then she said it was on the house so i took it back <laughs> listen i'm not trying to rob her you're the one who asked <laughs> all right all right sure sure she looks like she's gone mad for you, though, so watch out. Oh, that is a common occurrence. It will be fun later tonight, I guess. Yes. <laughs> that is if we stay. And worst case scenario, if there's any problem, I can melt her brain out her ears. I oh, you would very like much... bash Nathaniel as if he said this so many times before. She's like, you, stop it. Yeah, I'd rather hmm. you not. <laughs> you know? Wait, what's um, happening? Right. Nothing. So... Nothing's happening. <laughs> <laughs> Enoch is perpetually confused today. <laughs> so yeah, I guess uh, you guys head towards the graveyard, yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Lena knows right. the way. Yep. So. You and Scorpio both know the way. You head there just out of memory. And you can see a kind of rock stone pathway that leads to one large grave. At the very mm -hmm. end of the pathway, you can see a tombstone of uh, Vadrin. Is that how you say it? Yes, yes. Vadrin Icewind. <gasps> it's a map. <gasps> oh, There's going to be a fight here. Don't say that. And you can see various other tombstones completely turned to rubble, cracked. And you can <sighs> see that his sarcophagus has been dug into and it is cracked and open. Uh, as soon uh, as I see that, I'm taking off towards it. Yep. That makes sense. And uh, you can see Scorpio kind of almost reach for your hand, but lets you go and will walk and follow along. I was going to say, if he's just going to stand there, Renee would have bapped him on the shoulder and been like, go. Oh. <laughs> like, we've been, together long. Go. we've been together long enough. He knows how to deal with me. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. And I'm going to probably look at some of these other graves. He goes to you and he kind of uh, wraps one hand around your left arm. I'm sorry. The sarcophagus is cracked open. Is there anything inside? As you look and you squint your eyes, uh, you look closer. There is no body. Okay, Luna is... she. She's quiet for like... like probably the longest four seconds ever. And then she's going to walk over to this tree and punch it as hard as she can. Hmm. Let me give, give me a strength check just to see how hard you punch that tree. How bad do I break my hand doing this? Mm -hmm. Strength check. 
No. Oh, God. Oh, you punch a solid inch into the tree. You hear a crack as the bark indents and the snow falls from its leaves. And you can see a uh, Scorpio is just kind of standing aside and giving you some some very watery eyes. And it's giving you sympathetic look. The worst thing about this is that we can't I can't tear apart the person who did this. Hmm. We have to bring them back alive. Of course, we have to bring them back alive. I would like to, if possible, investigate the other graves that are around here to see if they were destroyed, just like how this was ransacked. I was going to say. Or if they were just, you know, broke down from erosion. Yes, you can give me an investigation for that. Can I give him the help action? Actually, you know what? I'm going to try something new. (gasps) Oh! What is your investigation score? My score is six. Six with a six, because uh, with I'm trying a new thing, um, and you guys can give me feedback after the session's over. I want to try a new Mm -hmm. thing where some inconsequential rolls, where it's like, oh, I rolled, I just happened to roll low on this time, or happened to roll high on this time on things that you can just take more time anyway. I'm just going to take a hard score. Oh, this is a passive then. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Uh, in that case, my roll roll my passive would be twenty one because I have a six, and then I also took observant as my feet, which gives me a plus five to it. Okay, <laughs> yes. With that, you scan over the rubble. There was a battle that came that happened here. There were there are pings of blades bludgeoning from very from clearly you know blunt weapons, um, and there was a fight that happened here. You can see skid marks. You can see. Uh, remnants of footsteps that have been covered by the snow, and you find another book very similar to yours buried in the snow. Uh oh. And how recent does it seem this battle was, if there's any way I can try? check? Well, with a 21, um, <laughs> I would say you can tell this probably happened a week ago. Uh, I will let you know uh, if I-, I recognize that a natural, like, 21 constant passive scan may get annoying so if at any point it becomes a bother just let me know and i'll pull back on it no 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 Uh, that's why i'm trying this out yep with that said uh i'm going to take the book and i'll lift it up uh and i'm not trying to hide it in any way so if anybody like anybody would see me just pull it out from the wreckage yep and And when you pull it out a few sheets of paper actually slip out of it i'll catch those real quick yep you catch those A battle happened here about a week ago. Obviously, it was the necromancers. This book is just the same as the one that we found in the dungeon. I hope you don't mind. As I, like, I'll, I'll give Enoch a quick glance as I flip open the book and start to go through it. Just don't be doing some uncouth. All right. Oh, you know me. We're gonna look at Enoch and sarcastically do jazz hands as if she's casting a spell. Like, whoa. <laughs> I will j- be less uh, ostentatious and just flip through it and see what's in this. I, I Listen, I'll be overly way. sarcastic gonna, for the both of us. <laughs> I'm going to look at the uh, the headstone here as it is broken, yes? Yes, it is in, in shambles. It is cracked, like, down diagonally. And you can see that there is some, you know, wording that you can make out in common. You know, it says, uh, Vadrin, uh, Vadrin Icewind. And, you know, it says... Uh, his, you know, his birth and death times. Uh, if I may, Joe, I'm going to use another cantrip that I have. I really want to use. Uh, mending. <gasps> mending. Okay. <gasps> uh, I think mending has a so, size amount, right? About a foot, but I could piece it together piece a little piece. bit. Yeah. A little, a little bit. Say... Tiny little and pieces, but you got, probably got to, I would assume, find them. Yeah. Well, you know, the pieces of rubble are like, around. Okay. So, so I'm just going to yeah. take the big chunks first, and I'm going to hit it, and you guys can see little gears, almost as if they flow through, acting like threads in a needle, and they just kind of mend the stone back together in hopes that it will repair it it's a slow process but yep. 
you piece by piece grabbing what debris that you can find that hasn't been buried by the snow or blown by the wind and it doesn't it it actually repairs it quite a bit to the point where at the top of the headstone kind of centered at the uh upper limit of its structure you can see that there is a carved in portrait that gives a passing resemblance to luna's echo and i kind of just brush it over with my regular hand and it ain't perfect but it'll do imagine like luna was coming back like probably like brushing off bits of broken bark and splinters from her from her knuckles and then she's just kind of gonna walk over to where you are, Enoch. Don't punch him, don't punch him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to punch him. Punch you. him, punch him. <laughs> Sorry. Thank you. It's the least, that, it's the most that can be done right now. Thank you. And she just kind of like traces her father's name carved into the, uh, carved into the, uh, uh, stone. Can you tell, see any tracks that lead out? Maybe where this fight would have taken place? Or maybe where they would have ran off to? It's a week ago. Probably long gone, but... Hmm. Give me just a moment. Uh, as for the book... Yes? Was the, was it just filled with spells or oh, perhaps yes. things that were I on the papers. We were going to do that. So that you papers. look in the book and it's filled with general spells and instructions. However, the sheets of paper that you find are notably older. Uh, you you look at one and you can see it's in very it's in ver some very very kind of worn out but still legible handwriting, and you got you see this. Will it show to players, please? I believe. It <gasps> handout. I believe in a thing called love. It is a handout. Oh. There we go. Show to Hand everyone. On. You find two sheets of paper. You find <gasps> oh this one. Oh my god. <laughs> If you cannot, if you cannot read the script handwriting, there is regular print right beneath, giving a description. I appreciate oh. that. Oh no! I only write in cursive in real life, so I know how to read this pretty easily. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, so looking at the two, just to be safe, this book right here is it written in the same handwriting as these couple of notes? It is not. You can see that it is some kind of copied uh, print yep. of some kind, as if you know, mass produced. Yep, just making sure that this was in fe indeed a completely different page from a completely different book. Uh, and I will say, while the book seems to be little more than a basic necromancer's handbook, which I will be keeping on me, uh, these pages, year 131, summer, as I've taken up practice with this new school of magic, mayhaps it will be good that I keep a record of my progress and findings. I've managed to become proficient with a few of the simple spells. So far, its ability to manipulate life force is of great utility. Though it also seems to have quite strong and effective destructive capabilities as well. Must keep a close eye on my fellow mages to make sure there is a, as little collateral damage as possible. That is what's written normally. However, it seems someone else got a hold of this. And in a different script wrote whoa car is this like your diary or something not only is this a complete invasion of privacy but it's also grammatically incorrect which is perhaps even worse there's also a drawing of three people uh, it appears to be a warrior a wizard and an archer with the title Family Portrait, and then a heart. I assume a child, and more importantly, I assume one of the other Maharian. Maharian? Maharian. Yeah, Maharian. Yeah. 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 Maharian sisters. Oh, that's adorable. And so, the for Black context, Vane Queen used to actually be something decent. For context, the current year is 216. Oh god, oh. math. That means that this oh. was 15 years ago. Nope, nope. Two nope. Wait, 216. Oh my god, that was so much worse. That was a, yeah, no, that's a lot older. Somebody else do the math because I can't this do it in my head right now. This has been planned for a hot minute. Where's the calculator? Hit me up. Uh, god. But, but I will say, just to stall, 
This seems to be the introduction of Kara Maharian to necromancy. 85 I would years so, ago. At least. 85. And it's dated 85 years ago. So this was before the war. Does that mean that that person was getting interested in this kind of magic early? Very indi- much so. It indicates that this was their favorite, not favorite, this was their preferred form of magic before it was banned. And given that they seem so happy now, we can only assume that the extra writing and the drawings came afterwards, and all three of them seem happy and alive. Which means this which in- was before. Which indicates to me that Kara Maharian did not come across necromancy as a means of reviving their dead Abigail. I kind of think she that was makes already... this worse. No, I think it makes it a bit better. It means that we have what you could call a reasonable suspicion. If we have a conversation with Kara at some point, this will be very important to note. Mm. If anything, it's good evidence to bring back. Yes. Curious. Curiouser and curiouser. I'm wondering Uh, why that was in that book there. My assumption... And I'm only working on assumption here because it doesn't seem reasonable. Is that either this was left here intentionally for us to find. Or perhaps Kara Maharian was here. I was coming to that conclusion. Although, if that was the answer, then why leave the book behind? Kara must have many different books. But a book was left behind in the dungeon as well. Didn't you find that book in in a a box? I thought, then they were probably storing it, yes? Yes, but leaving a single book in a single box with nothing else? I don't know. Just a thought. If I may be so bold, I might be pressing a button here and I'd rather not try and incite certain angers here, but that book could have been dropped here due to whatever fight was happening here and looking back at the grave i think somebody failed at something very nasty all succeeded at something too well what's more interesting we can only assume that the necromancers won first because the necromancers weren't reported until now and second there are no bodies here and who would like dead bodies I just look back down at the empty grave. Which means to me, well, mages don't like to lose track of their things, especially something as important as a spellbook. No, this is looking much more likely that someone left this here. But that's just a theory for now, and I don't want to assume it as truth. For now, we should find those tracks. Yeah. Yeah, let's have a look around. All right. So... uh, uh, she just kind of, like, puts a hand on, like, Shark Scorpio's shoulder for a minute. Thanks for giving me a warning. I needed it. I'd like to join I you start- on the rest of your journey, but I've got one last job that I can't just quit, unfortunately. I'll try to meet you back to? in Chester City. All right. Be safe. You Which too. kiss him on the cheek. And he gives you a big hug, his arms wrapped all the way from shoulder to shoulder. Aww. Aww. Yeah, she hugs back. Aww. He gives you a pleasant look picks up his pack, starts heading back to the town. And you guys start to follow the trails that Nathaniel had found tracking them, and you find what look like deer tracks that are tracking blood as well. Oh, they made undead uh, rides! Uh, God. They made undead rides! And as you follow Gross. them, you see a decrepit deer with like p- massive chunks of its skin as if torn off and kind of decrepit and it's slowly walking into a wall as its its uh, hooves are skidding across the snow pushing ooh. it into it Renee just like covers her like <laughs> mouth a little bit and like closes her eyes and just like mm. Lynn is, Lynn is gonna draw both her swords <laughs> It does not seem to take uh, your presence into account and just continues to walk into the tree as if it's trying to go somewhere. Can I put this thing out of its misery, please? Hold on. You most certainly can. I draw 
I draw out objection. Hold on, hold on. Before you do, bef just wait, wait, wait. Like, Renee does not look comfortable at all, but she's just, just, hold on. Oh, you said it looks like it's trying to go somewhere? It does. It looks like it's walking directly into a direction. As, as you follow the tracks, it goes in a straight line that seems to be halted by a tree. You can see that it doesn't seem to avoid any other obstructions as you are walking along. No, you know, no walking around any rocks or small hills. I... I have an idea. I don't know if it's going to work. Um, it's your idea. I mean, if it's trying to go somewhere, maybe there's just a place it can... It, it cannot reach at that point. I, it's not... I don't believe it's illusionary. But I can just go and check around the tree. She just nods. It it oh. might lead us somewhere. I'm just after we find out if it is a reason, do whatever you want with it. Just I'm gonna look back at Enoch. Just try not to shoot me. Alright? <laughs> Playfully, mind you. And uh I got a good keen eye. I I'd hope so. Um still with both swords drawn, I want to approach. Okay, you approach and it continues to push itself against the tree, moaning in a very gurgly voice. Ugh. I am. I have my swords at the ready just in case this thing starts trying to attack me, but I want to kind of start stepping around the tree. I'm not taking my eyes off this thing, or mm -hmm. like I'm not putting turning my back to it. You step around the tree and you follow tra the tra trajectory not too far before you see kind of downwards as, you know, you guys are heading this way, you are starting to head down the mountain. Um, you can see off in the distance uh, that looks like kind of populated with the trees, a few humanoid figures, as well as other trails of blood and other animal looking creatures, other beasts. Okay, well, now that I see what this thing is going to, I'm going to try and fucking put it down, please. Yep. Uh, no roll no roll required. You easily cut it down. So you're just going to cut it. How do you kill it? Uh, take off its head <laughs> if <Yep>. I can. <laughs> yep. You I want to do it in as swift a motion as possible. Yep. You hold up your sword. You, s you strike it down, chops off its head. It takes no force whatsoever. This This body is very, very old. Well, not very old, but, you know, it's starting to, to fall apart. Rot. And it falls to the snow. <laughs> um, I just kind of want to, like, um, gesture for everybody to come up. Renee I will walk up. <laughs> yep. Okay. And I will just point to show you. Ah, uh, even better. Fantastic. Mm. I... Understand I can't go on a complete rampage. Please don't. How many do you want alive? Um, I mean, are, they, are all of them walking in particular directions? Like, <laughs> uh, no, it's the, the, the creatures all have stopped and you can see that for each beast, there is a humanoid except for one of them, i.e. the one, you know, the deer. <laughs> oh, no. I, I don't think this feel is bad. an army. And you can see, you can see that there is oh, no. an extra. Let's see. How many are there? Um. You can see that there are four humanoids and one humanoid that seems to be glowing a kind of translucent blue. Oh no. Oh, oh I'm uncomfortable. And there are three beasts there that have stopped. I suppose my question is, do you want to kill them all in a blind rage? Or would you prefer to be the executioner? As much as I want to say blind rage because I'm absolutely pissed. Executioner is the smarter option. Let you talk to them first. Exactly. Keep everything as non-lethal as I can. Fantastic. By the way, uh, Joe, I am digging through the snow to find like two sizable rocks about the size of my hand. Oh, you can find them pretty easily. That doesn't take too much effort. Oh, yeah. Just see me like moving aside snow left and right before I find two rocks in hand. Yep. All right. <clears throat> And I begin to focus on them. What do you do? I am going to use magical tinkering. Ah! I can imbue a tiny non-magical object with a magical property of my choice. 
Uh, oh shit. To which I can either do light six second long recorded message, uh, emit a odor but non-verbal sound, a static visual effect including up to five, 25 words of text. Hmm. Nice. And I am going to look towards Luna. If you were to say 25 words, what would you say? To who? To these people? Yes, 25 words in exact. Or less. It's a little it's a little wonky. I'm trying it out. Uh It wouldn't it'd be pretty simple. I bring absolution. That's all. And uh, All right. I'd I like have these two ro- I'd like to know how long I have to, um, how long the oil lasts on my sword, because I'd like to apply the, it. <laughs> the oil lasts for one minute. Okay. Um, once I'm given the we're going, I would like to apply that oil to my sword. Mm-hmm. Okay. So now that I have two rocks with the recorded messages, I am going to intend to throw them when these guys move. And I'm going to pretty much create a static image of Luna saying, I am Absolution. All right. Kind of as a way to distract which ones to to toss at. Fuck yeah, I love that. That does require you to get a little bit closer, so I assume you approach to get within range. I am going, can I roll for sneak for that? You do not have to. You are stealthy enough that you're pretty hard to see in this, this kind of misty, powdery snow. And you are high okay. up. Uh, you have the you have the high ground, so it's going to be very difficult for them to see you without purposefully looking up. Well, but the good you, news is, that's as you why I'm a long you do range. hear a very uh, familiar voice of Bloodstride, and he seems to be talking with the necromancers. Very good, Fuck. very good. Well done, Amber. Where is your subject? And you can see that he's speak he's speaking through this ethereal, translucent blue form of himself. God damn it! <laughs> I know, figure, but also want fuck. To fight him. God, I know. I, I know. I'll be outmatched. I just want to fight him. God and damn it! You can see that the the human. There's a human girl that is quivering in the snow. Uh, it, it should arrive any moment. It, it was a deer. Oh, I, I, no. I was I was able to get it before the wargs did. It will be here. I promise. I don't feel bad. <laughs> Not even a little I, bit. I, Nobody move. Watch, see what happens. And Bloodstride just kind of folds his arms. Time is ticking. You do want to join the Spine of Death, do you not? Yes, Bloodstride, of course. I'm trying my best. I promise. I was able to raise so many things the other day. I promise. And Enoch, you have an opening. Do you take it? (sighs) Do these guys move? No, they all seem to be waiting impatiently on this one human. I'm waiting for my party members to move up. Oh, okay. Yeah, that is that is you. my signal. Uh, during that pause, then I'll look at Nathaniel and I'll give like it'll be like a a gesture, like, yeah, can I move? Uh, I would like to make some sort of roll to see if there is any like any visual chance that there's something else to learn here, just to be safe. Oh, uh, I don't know no what roll that would be. What is your passive perception actually? What can you see? And then and then yeah. actually, I'll let you roll. Or, okay. and if it's lower than your passive, we'll take your passive. Yes. Nice. Uh, hey! Hey! hey. We only roll 20s in this house. We only roll 20s in this house. There's no such thing as a good 20! You look it over, you can see that the other necromancers are dressed in very similar robes as to the ones that you fought in the sewers. And you can see the various different mm-hmm. kinds of animals are regular prey of wards. Mm-hmm. Uh, you saw the deer before. You can see that there is a hare, a snow hare, that you know sometimes wargs will pick pick up if there is nothing bigger. There is an owl bear, which you do you know from your studies. You know that oh, sometimes yes. owl bears can you know if they get singled out and overwhelmed by wargs, it is a hearty meal for them. And a wolf, which you know if they're in yeah. rivaling territories, wargs like to fight them and possibly eat them as well. All I food see. sources of wargs. This is quite sophisticated. If they're all different food sources of wargs, then what are the wargs to eat but wary travelers, which the necromancers can then pick up and use? That's actually a bit clever. I'll, like, 
give the faintest smile as I appreciate the awful terribleness of this. <laughs> yes, Renee yes, is just it's like very <laughs> clever, very clever. No, I'd like to kill them. <laughs> right, uh, keep them alive for now. But now's our time to move. All right, and uh, Luna will start skulking forward. Okay, while you do, I'm going to bring you to a map, a battle map, and you're going <gasps> battle to map! Uh, ignore the rat. I didn't have a token for a hair. Uh, just pretend that it is <gasps> it is a hair. It's Marshall. He's a rat. <laughs> and uh, go ahead and situate yourself. You're, you guys are coming from the bottom left of the map. Okay. okay. And I will say, Boom. like, about Boom. here is the limit to... I'll move that a little I'm bit here. closer. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, Let me move to- me. To prepare for this, would I have been allowed to summon check, uh, Shadow Dad, or do you want me to wait yep, until we I will hit? say I'm, I'm all, assuming that we're just saying move. It's like, all right, let's prep. You can make all the preparations that you would yeah. like, and they will not lose their duration until the combat starts. Word. Okay. Shadow I've, Dad, I've coming played up Divinity. Me. I've played Baldur's Gate 3. I know how frustrating <laughs> it is to put on buffs and have them run out mid combat. <laughs> yep, yep. Thank yep. you. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, so, uh, I'm going to go gonna... turn on my fan real quick. I was gonna say, I'm can gonna... Enoch be a little closer? But then uh, Enoch yeah, is yeah. already a little closer. So yeah. it, it makes sense because you, were, as, you did right. say you were and, moving. And uh, yeah, than everyone the say you know what yeah. buff you're doing and try to remember what it is that you did because I have <laughs> I've uh, got uh, other things to keep track of. Yeah. I'm, re- I'd... I'm not using this. I'm reading it. So just okay. one sec. Okay, I making sure. Only got the oil. I am going to go ahead and preemptively um, cast True Sight or True Strike. Blah 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 blah. Um. What is the biggest creature here that I can see? Uh, the owl bear. <laughs> I'm going feet. to point at the owl bear. <laughs> okay. Um, and yeah, right. First. <laughs> tell me what it do so that Fighty. I can tell our fighty girl. Hey, so <laughs> watch out. <laughs> so your first, uh, Luna. I'll start uh, here. Your actually. first attack, as well as Renee, your next attack on the owl bear. Oh, uh, have I thought it was just for the person who I oh, told. Wait, no, never mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's that's just how for we the person it. who I tell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, I don't get the advantage. Luna, you have advantage on the owl bear for your next attack, and the owl bear. This is a decrepit owl bear, so it has weakness to all physical attacks. Oh dang! Oh, she just like points at and goes, "Oh, you're going to have a lot of fun with that one." It does um, not like being hit. Have I ever fought? Have I ever fought an owl bear before? Yes, so. you have. You fought. You the owl bear. <laughs> oh, that's so much sad. You, you can tell that this one is no man. This is not. This is far beyond an owl bear in its prime. It is, you know, uh, long past <laughs> dead. That's so much uh-huh. sad that that's what they decided to raise. Uh, I would like to, if possible, see who, which person is controlling the owl bear. Uh, mm. That would be the Black Dragonborn up here. I hate to ruin your fun, but if you could leave the owl bear alone, I can try to charm its controller. Sure, sure. Well, I'm, I'm have the owl bear go apeshit on everything else. Listen, my my aim is to start knocking these people out. And that's what I'm going to be trying to do. Yes, Luna, you cause panic. I'll charm the owl bear. Er, Renee, you cover me, and Enoch can do what he would like. And Renee nods. Enoch, what would you like to do? <laughs> I'm watching for the first movement from the party before I toss these things over. Uh, more specifically, Luna coming in. Yeah. They all and, and... seem ready at your command. Ooh. Combat will start mm-hmm. when you start it. Luna I... will look at you and give a nod like she's ready. Mm. Uh, it's a signal. And I take both stones and I throw them over towards this area or uh, toward, uh, one towards this area and one towards this area. All right. Yep. You toss them and they activate their sending noise and they hear the voice of Luna speak. Yeah. I am the solution. And at so, that, yeah, is there anything else you would like to do? The description is is that uh, it's a static image of Luna with both swords almost as if getting ready to strike as the voice comes out, but it looks like she's exploding out of the snow. Ooh. I'm going to say you can roll an intimidation. She out of the snow! Uh, <laughs> both, both of you roll an intimidation for that. 
Oh, Ooh, both of us? Hey, both of you. Yeah. Can I do strength-based intimidation? You most certainly can. Yes, yeah. cool. Right. So you can just give me a strength check, I guess. Yeah. Charisma's not all that great. <laughs> 15. Okay, with that, you startle them a little bit, but they turn to you, Enoch, and uh, you can see that Bloodstride just rolls his eyes. Ah, oh, you again. And I'm going to need everyone to roll initiative. Gladly. Uh, Gladly. I told you I'd hunt you down. That's and I'm fair. bringing hell with me. Oh, my God. Here we go. Let me just make oh, sure that the that's music. Not too loud. My, yep. ooh. Delicious. Uh, no, we like it. Chat may not be able to hear it that go. much because I'm trying to balance it so that it's not too loud. <gasps> Holy shit. You said you Natural never got a nat 20, you bastard. Only in my initiatives do I roll high nowadays. <laughs> now, because you rolled a nat 20, you will always be first, even if somebody rolls higher than you. Okay. That's so nice. I like the music. Yeah, this music was made I'm by the Music like Reborn, uh, and they are the same person that I commissioned to make the Crap Guy theme. He's I'm very loving nice. It. I'm loving, loving it. it. It's very nice to have some of my original tracks that I made remastered and re reorchestrated. Uh, yeah, no, this is giving me like the cool vibes. Yeah, I'm so, down. Enoch, you go first. All right. Do do do. Uh, I am. Do do do. I'm gonna go ahead and. Banff out the wings. Mm. Uh, I'm just gonna do what what I did before that, and then uh, action surge for <gasps> my attacks because I have nothing for bonus actions. All right, and action surging immediately. <laughs> oh. Yep, right into the air, and I am going to aim down sights towards our. Uh, I do want to get close enough just to make sure that I'm not doing too badly. And I'm going to. Oh, God, should I shoot a monster or should I shoot a person? They're all monsters. Yep, you're right. All right, uh, this dude. All right. Shooting at the human. Show me the attack. All right. Yes, that's enough. All right. Um... A loud and crack also, as you fire your gun at the human, and it pierces through her shoulder. And don't forget that I do an extra, I think it's four Eight. points. Four? Uh, oh, four, yeah, four, yeah, four. Yeah. Four, uh, yeah. 14. four points of additional. Yeah, four mm -hmm. points of additional radiant damage, so right. that'll be 14 yes. damage. You see it singe on her robes. Just blow. And, and yeah, your second as, attack with your action surge. Uh, no, that's all I can do. Well, you said you were going to action search, right? It was an action to bring the wings out. Oh, that's yeah. right. That yeah. is right. Okay. Action, action to bring out the uh, wings, about that. and then action I to attack. I would just yeah. make it a bonus action. I Sounds really like it should be. Me too. Yeah. Maybe uh, we maybe can talk about it later, strong. Joe. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Nathaniel, your turn. Yeah. Uh, fantastic. Also, always waiting to my turn. Uh, I checked because I, the, the music reborn sounded like a very familiar name. He's the guy who did my Witcher cover as well. Oh, nice. Hey. Oh. That dude's, this oh dude's great. God. You should check him out. Small yeah. world. Yeah, yeah, it's a real small world. You guys in the um, chat can find the l link to uh, him as well as all the artists that have worked on the assets for this uh, using exclamation point art. Hmm. Including, all right, I'm gonna have to be about that. Including every, everyone who made the maps, everyone who made the, the character portraits, all that good stuff. Give me just a couple of seconds. I need to check two things. Damn it. Uh, and then, ah, damn it. All right. Damn, damn, damn. Oh, actually. Uh, Oops. Sorry, I'm measuring things out, which I probably should have done on somebody else's turn, but I apologize. I meant to click information. Uh, Don't mind that. Disregard. So, I'm gonna move 30 feet. Yep. Over to this tree. Okay. It is me. I am Tree Man. Whoa. It is I. I am Tree. <laughs> I run over here and I activate Operation Yellow Snow. <laughs> oh God. Uh, in what? The sense that as I raise my, er, I raise one hand out, and from my fingertips shoot multiple strands of pink energy as I connect with everyone else's minds. And I cast Mantle of Inspiration. Yes! It's not a spell, hey. so, it's, so it's not really yeah. casting. Everyone can now use their reaction to God, I love that. move up to their speed if they oh. would like to. They do not provoke opportunity and attacks, not that they would. And money. also, you gain five temporary HP. Thank you. All right. 
30. You, now, actually, there you are, the rock. wind beneath my wings as I go further up into the sky. <laughs> All right, nice. Just 60 feet in okay. the air. So, technically, uh, uh, echo 20 go- feet. Ah. Yeah, because yeah, I don't I want them to be out of range. I just want them. I just want to be out of their range of spells. Oh, shit. So I'm out of Echo Dad range, but I'm literally summoning him on my next bonus action. Can I just leave the token and save myself the trouble? Yeah, of course. Thank you. I will move, I believe, right here. Is that enough? Yes, making sure. Thank God. Okay, and then once I reach here, uh, in the distraction, I am going to lock eyes with the enemy Dragonborn, and I'm going to lean my glasses down as I cast suggestion and say, this battle is lost. Fight for us. Mm. So this is actually hey. a spell, so I'm able to do this one. Sexy. <laughs> Ooh, you can see him spell. T- taking both hands up to his head and racking his mind. <laughs> and he fails to save. He does <laughs> as you command. Yay! Oh, God, I love Nathaniel. <laughs> yep, Nathaniel is so good! Mm-hmm. And then I'm going to use my last 20 movement. Goodbye. <laughs> Don't right. mind me. Smart. That's my turn. Luna. Smart. So, Nathaniel, you are behind partial cover, so you will have plus two to your AC. Hooray. <laughs> Luna, your turn. Okay. So I'm running at this, uh, at this fucker right here. Mm-hmm. Uh, but as I am running up, bonus action, Shadow Dad right behind him because Ooh. I want that flankety flank. Yep, you now have plus two to your hits. Yep. Hey. Yep. Uh, and we are bringing down Retribution first with the oil. Hmm. I have taken two pieces off of it for both swords. Okay. Oh, both swords. Okay, nice. Yes, I put it on both swords. Okay, yes, 15, 15. is enough. And now this dragonborn, as you slash into them, uh, they now, I'm just going to put a little potion icon, they are now exhausted by the oil. All of their physical stats, uh, any rolls that they make with their physical stats are now at disadvantage. I just want to growl at them. So who, which one of you desecrated that grave? <sighs> I am. They all look a little terrified of you. <laughs> Good. <laughs> There's reason for that. Yeah. <laughs> Good. 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 Good reason. <laughs> and that is my turn. Next is the spine of death. Uh. <laughs> now. Why was the, my uh, initiative tiny? <laughs> so, uh, this uh, dragonborn is simply going to hold up uh, a hand to you and is going to cast Cause Fear. On me? Oh. Yep. Okay. And you're oh, going to need to make a wisdom saving throw. Oh, I'm not good at those. <laughs> Here we go. Not 20! Oh, Fuck you! Oh my god. You are fine. Nice. This dragonborn is more afraid of you than you are of them. And their hands are shaky, and your 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 eyes seek blood after what they did I to just, your father's like, grave. I just crack my neck. Imagine putting all of your all of your effort into casting a spell and it does nothing. <laughs> Instead, this one is going to sick the wolf on to Renee. No! Goes around Renee, oh, you wait. see. Ah! Uh-huh. How, how close was that thing to the uh, echo? Let me control Z. It was over here. God oh, no, damn it's, it. it's out of the range. No. So, no. Oh, God, I'm squishy. No! So it goes to bite at you, Renee. But I'm squishy! Oh, hey, Cammy, it's your dog. <laughs> oh, no, it's Tommy! Oh, Sorry, I only had one wolf token. Oh, <laughs> It's no problem. Well, the, 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 I thought we were it just well, means though. it just means that midnight is also one of the cultists. <laughs> oh no, that's even worse. Oh, just, oh, oh, just oh, oh. the. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Renee, you take six piercing damage from this wolf's bite, and I'm gonna need you to make oh, a constitution saving throw. Oh no, I don't like that. Oh okay, constitution saving throw. Yep. Oh, no. oh Renee. Oh, oh no. Renee. It's okay. It's okay. Shadow Dad's coming to help you, I promise. It'll All right. be fine. Now, you take an additional three necrotic damage, and you will take it next turn okay. unless you make the save. Oh. So I take it now, and I'll get it each time then? Yes. Okay, cool. Just wanted to you, double you check. You'll be Thank taking you. it at the end of your turn. 
Thank or, sorry, you. at the yes, at the end of your turns. Yes, yes, yes. Cool. Uh, cool. this so one commands time. the okay. hair to fruitlessly attack Echo Dad, but the hair has no <laughs> combat ab- abilities. <laughs> <laughs> and this oh, one it's is not like the rabbit from Monty Python. Unfortunate. <laughs> this dragonborn. Uh, this human oh. is about to cast something at you, Nathaniel, until the dragonborn commands the uh, owl bear to tackle into her. Let's see. If it's, uh, yeah. <laughs> it just like this huge. She's about to cast something at you, Nathaniel. You see her hands glow green until the owl bear gets on its hind legs and flomps just like her into the snow. She is prone and close to death. Oh, and nice. you, can, you can see that uh, uh, Bloodstride is just hovering in the air, legs crossed, and watching this all go on. He's got a little smile on his face. He's just watching how we do. Renee, He's watching the learn. Turn. He's watching the learn, isn't he? Smug bastard. Um, only because I'm curious. I don't have the magic for it yet, but I don't fucking. I'm, I'm curious to know. Um, is whatever is being cast to bring him here, like, is it something that I can, like, get rid of if I do something? You can give me an arcana check to see if you would know. Okay. I mean, I don't have the spell for it yet. I wish I did, but, you know. It'll it'll be helpful to know next time. This is familiar magic that you know is being cast remotely. You could probably get rid of it. Yeah, so he's not here. He's not here, but I could get rid of it if I, like, hit it hard enough. Probably. Okay. Well, it's not metal. <laughs> no, it is not. It. Well, you can tell um, actually that uh, the dragonborn and the elf, they both wear uh, seemingly very usual breastplates. Okay. Well, that helps me. I'll, just, I'll focus on those boyos. Oh, um, I like this. Yeah, and it's 60 feet. So uh, I believe this guy. Eh, Oh, they're both in my range. I could just pick one. But unfortunately, this guy's being controlled, so I won't focus on him. I'm going to focus on this boy. All right. Yes. Hello, sir. Show me heat metal. Um, you're, you're, you're getting a little hot there, sir. You're getting a little okay. hot there, sir. All right. And that's not a save, is it? Um, It is, I believe. Let me oh, look. okay. Um, let me look. Choose manufactured metal object. The metal... Da, da. Any creature and physical object takes 2d8 fire damage when you cast it, and until the spell ends, you can use a bonus action on each of your subsequent turns to cause this damage again. Okay. So, so. yeah, no, it's, it's not a save. It's just that, oh my god, it's on, you're on fire. <laughs> you can see that he's <laughs> controlling the hair, and he looks he looks like he's trying his best, but you can see the, the breastplate that he's wearing starts to glow a bright orange. Ah, 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 ah! And he takes, he starts to burn. You can see the sizzling underneath the arm. <laughs> Cool. Um, I love this game. Me too. So also, um, hey, li- well, I don't think unsettling words. That's a bonus action, but I I know that my other spell is concentration, so I don't think I can cast something else, even if it's a bonus action. If I'm doing a concentration spell. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you can so, only have one concentration. Yeah, no, that's my spell. Um, you do have a decrepit wolf attacking wolf you. Fighting. Yeah, I don't mind the wolf fighting me. I think I'll be fine. <laughs> All right. Uh, if that is the like, end of I'm your turn. I'm just going to focus on getting rid of as many of them as possible. If that is the don't end of your turn, you're going to need to make <laughs> yeah. another con save. That's fine. I can do that. Oh, no. You take another three damage as the wolf continues to embed <laughs> its teeth into your arm and just, you just... feel the gross, <laughs> decrepit energy coming through it. She's just not even focused. Like, she is heavily focusing on the thing that is alive. Like, not totally disregarding the wolf. It's just like, mm. like Enoch, your turn. All right. Uh, I'm going to do something that I know that I can do, actually. I am going to basically power dive towards this individual. Mm-hmm. She is prone. And I am going to pull out the rapier from behind me and just bring it down. All right, that attack will have hopes. advantage. All right. Uh, yeah. also, would, would it also get flanking because Owlbear is oh, beating yeah. you up as well? <laughs> you know what, oh. it would. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yes. Advantage yes. with flanking. Owlbear! Okay. 
So plus two, whatever you roll. Six. Hey, nice. Hey. We only roll 20s and in this house. And with... <laughs> yeah, yeah, seriously. With that... going on it. Nice. Okay. Yeah. You can see that she's trying to rise up. She's got anger on her face. Oh, stupid adventure. And you stab into her. She's dead. She's dead. And she's as dead. a bonus action, because I have the uh, the firearm specialist, if I have a finesse weapon in my hand, I can use my gun as a bonus action attack. Mm. With no penalties? Yep. Uh, let's see. Uh, with a one-handed weapon, you can use your bonus action to attack with the loaded firearm with the light property you are holding, which is my pistol. And I am aiming at this dude. Okay, firing at the <laughs> elf who is burning underneath his armor. All right. Let's see, and this will be objection. Okay. Uh, 16? A 16, unfortunately, is not enough. It pings off of the armor, as hot as it is. Yeah, I, I, I literally come down, <laughs> stab, and then spin around in the snow to throw out a bullet, and it just pling. Oh. All right. <laughs> Next is Nathaniel. You are nearly blasted, if not thanks to your surrogate owlbear. Yes, I understand. These people are doing their jobs. They do not get a reward. I'm going to walk up over here, uh, out in plain view, and I'll look over at Bloodstride. So this is too far. Oh, then? He, he shrugs his shoulders and puts, you know, both hands in the air. Well, you did ambush us very well, and I have to give you props for that. I can't imagine you didn't expect it. What do you think we are, Library? I don't expect anything, friend. I merely adapt. Yes. Although, as I hold out my hand and casually cast dispel, not dispel, uh, dissonant whispers on the wolf that Renee is fighting, okay. I continue to speak to Bloodstride as I. Here I go. Here you go. Wheezes. Okay. The point is that it's going to make him. Yeah, yeah the spell it's going to make it help you. Yep, yep. Just uh, so I remember. And, yep. As I'm just casually pushing away at the wolf, uh, I continue speaking to Bloodstride. Although I can't imagine that your parents named you Bloodstride. What do you suppose your real name is? He, he gives a little bit of a smile at that and doesn't say anything, and the wolf is going to run away now. Uh, <laughs> Anu feels bad. <laughs> what, was he McGovern running, like, already taken? Renee, like, is, like, holding her arm that, like, probably has a little bit of, like, black in and... it. Just, yeah, that would uh, proc an attack of opportunity, wouldn't it? Renee, do you take it? It's running away. I don't give a shit. Okay. Well, actually, no, it's undead. Never mind. Renee, yeah, it no. is an undead I, decrepit I, as a player, wolf that tried I'm to like, I you. don't give a shit. Renee <laughs> actually does care very much. Right. So I don't think using my crossbow would actually stop my spell. So would it? I don't think it does. Uh, it, it would not, no. Uh, cool. The only way to stop I'm concentration is to use shoot another concentration. Me. Shoot or me with damage, my crossbow. So. All right. Show me. Yes, that hits. Show me the damage. Oh, technically I was hit, wasn't I? Uh, well, you took so three damage. So concentration. So, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You need to roll concentration, con saves yeah. to... Uh... Thank you for reminding me, Shelby. Thank you. No problem. I, that would be a constitution? Were... Yes, constitution. Oh, God. So you I just, guess, you well, just need to make I a failed. 10. You just need to roll a 10. Okay. You only took three damage, so... So close. Well, you lost the concentration. I lost my concentration. How did this happen? But when you when you fire it into happens. this decrepit it wolf, happens. you fire into it, and it you hear a crunching sound as you knock off one of its decrepit legs, and it falls apart, dead, into Good. the snow. Um, Worth it. <laughs> uh, yeah, these bodies are falling apart. Good. Worth it. <laughs> Nathaniel, was that your full turn? Talking to Bloodstride. Yes, that was everything I could do. All right, awesome. Luna. All right. Luna's gonna switch places with Echo Dad. Bonus action. Uh, try and confuse this poor fucker. All right. So Echo Dad is now facing him. Um, if I move here, I'm still. I'm not leaving his attack nope, range, you are right? Not. Yeah, no, I'm going up to this fucker and I'm gonna try and hit him with the pommel of my sword to knock him out. Just Ooh. as his heat meta like goes <laughs> away, it's like, oh, okay. <laughs> All right, give me the attack. Yep, absolution time. Oh, oh, 22. Yeah, that's, enough, that's enough to break through the armor. He has a sword of his own that tries to parry the blows, but you're able to catch a part of his arm. Very nice. Dirty. And, uh, oh. uh, yeah, the the oil wanna... only works for the first attack, so. Yeah, yeah, well, and I was I was going with the pommel anyway. I'm trying to knock him out. I'm not trying yes. to kill him. Yes, okay, yes, you hit him with some bludgeoning damage. He's still up, though. Okay, uh, Echo Dad's going to unleash incarnation on this fucker. Okie dokie. Oh, dear. 
11. Oh, uh, that good. is unfortunately not enough. Oh, well. To go to swing the Dragonborn dodges out of the way. Okay, well, that is my turn. Okay, next. It's a spine of death, and you can see that the elf that is currently battling you, Luna, calls out to Bloodstride. Master Bloodstride, no, we could use some assistance. And Bloodstride just sits there and shrugs his shoulders. No, this is your time to prove yourself. If you cannot handle some lowly adventurers, who's to say you can handle more of the trifling matters at hand? And you can see determination on the elves' eyes. And he nods and takes a sword and goes to try and swipe it at you, Luna. Uh-huh. AC 17. Well, unfortunately, he's a good uh, he's a good uh, marshal as oh, no. uh, he takes a swipe and exhausts you with a quite a few heavy blows with his two-handed sword. You take six damage. Oof. There's, that's all my temp HP gone. Cool. Oh, no! Right. Uh, just checking something really and quick. Nope. This that one, work that way. Uh, the blue dragonborn, sees Nathaniel and is going to fire a ray of sickness at you. Is that so? It is. Here's where I'm realizing my next feat needs to be Mage Slayer. <laughs> oh, and it easily hits you Ooh. as oh, no! this black green beam fires and passes through your chest, and you feel as though you are about to collapse, and you take. <gasps> Wait, does that provoke? Does that provoke Sentinel because he's within five feet of me attacking Nathaniel? I think it would. That uh, is a ranged attack. Oh! Hold on. Does the no say it's range whenever attack a creature or... attacks somebody else? It says when a creature within five feet of you makes an attack against a target other than you. It counts. Any uh, attack. Counts. This, is, this is an it attack. Counts. Yeah. Go ahead. Uh, yeah. yeah. Reaction. Uh, absolution. Fuck off. Nine. <laughs> Not enough, unfortunately. Oh. You go to chop almost at the hand of this dragonborn that fires out this beam, but uh, it is too swift and moves out of the way. Nathaniel. You take 11. Jesus! You take 11 poison damage, and I, you're also going to make a con uh, save. Understood. Uh, so he's going to hit me. I'm going to like stagger back for a moment, press up at my chest where it hit me, and then look back up, completely unharmed. What? <laughs> you are fine. You are absolutely fine. And the shock on the dragonborn's face, you can see uh, their jaw just like open. And you can see oh the God. bloodstride smile widens and he claps. Very good. We will have words later, you and I. And since you take no damage, the uh, <laughs> you don't have to roll for concentration. I was worried about that. <laughs> I didn't I, I, direct I completely counter forgot. to necromancy. <laughs> I, I completely <laughs> forgot. I thought it was going to do necrotic damage. No, Rave's, Rave's oh. still poison damage, fun fact. Yep, I didn't. Oh d- d- up God. until that moment, I was that's like, shit, it's, shit, shit. It's why it's such a garbage spell to take, because almost like what, so much shit in the monster manual just has straight up immunity mm-hmm. to poison. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. And uh, you can see that the elf kind of bickers at the dragonborn. I told you that spell was useless. (laughs) (laughs) Aww. And just then the dragonborn is going to, the black dragonborn is going to command the owlbear to start stomping ahead towards the blue dragonborn and passes nice. through the etherical uh, image of Bloodstride, so who like flickers a bit, won't hit him. but goes Damn right it. through it. Damn it. And is going to claw. Oh, and it, it, it claws the blue dragonborn and kills him. Oof. Just like, oh, son of a... F- Imagine you're fighting for your life. You cast a spell. You hope it'll work. <laughs> and it does nothing. It <laughs> does it put a gross green stain on my coat. <laughs> All right, Renee, That's your the turn. worst defense possible. Nothing I do can actually hit this thing, and it's irritating me. <laughs> I know something that can work, but I have no, no spell that actually will make it happen. And it's unfortunate. So for now... <sighs> I guess I'm just going to heckin' I, I fucking recast heat metal. Mm-hmm. Poor this man's going po- to burn alive. Oh man. I, <laughs> he was going to anyway, trust me. Oh yeah, probably. But there you go, yeah. then they're fine. Yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> you burn it again, and he's like, 
The stabs him. Ah! 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 And it starts to burn him once more. He is on the brink of death. Cooking book. Boom. And I don't think it's till it's till my next bonus action bonus action where I can add the extra. And you can see as he is, you know, burning up inside, you see the body of the hair f- fall to the to the snowy powder. Yeah, it's as well. Ah, uh, good. Yeah, no, each of the subsequent turns after, so I can't use it on this extra bonus action, which is unfortunate. Anything uh, else you can? No, I can't do anything else. I mean, if anything, seeing Nathaniel get fucking shot with something, just one. Da, 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 da. Yep, I can make it there. <laughs> no. Nice. What? What's wrong? She, I'm just I'm making sure you're okay. Why wouldn't fucking, I be? I don't know. I just saw them fucking shoot the clean missile at you. <laughs> making it wasn't sure. Very effective. Good. I am. You fucking Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> Enoch, what do you do? We're what is a Pokemon? Quite, we're feeling quite horribly at keeping these people alive, though. Uh, like a we ranger, but like different. We still have y'all, so we'll make sure that one stays. I am going to just float on over by Bloodstride and look him dead in the eye. You know what I am, right? Mm-hmm. Why, of course. As I raise up the gun towards the forehead of the ethereal, <laughs> I am the righteous hand of God. And I fire at this dude. <laughs> through oh, through the stride. Stride. Oh my god. <laughs> All right. All right. Show uh, me the attack. And... Unfortunately, not going to be enough. You know what? Can I use my grip point? <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> I'm going to make a dead eye shot, which will give me advantage. <laughs> Anything for the ah. Ah. Oh my god. <laughs> you, you fire. You fire it. Unfortunately. It is with the flurry of blows that this uh, uh, this elf is trading with Luna, just out of happenstance, moving out of the way of the bullet. And uh, Bloodstride just looks back to you. I'm sorry, were you having a moment? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Fuck you. I love boy. and hate him but so much. I have his moment. <laughs> I was hoping for it. I was praying for it. I know, I wanted it to happen too. <laughs> the baby boy ruined that Nathaniel, moment. <laughs> uh, your concentration is still going on this dragonborn who's controlling the uh, the the owlbear, and you are completely fine from the green blast. Take few, I'm take a few steps forward as I casually drop the suggestion spell. Look over to this man as he's like regaining his sensibilities. You've done a fantastic job. You've earned your rest, and I cast sleep on him. Nice. <laughs> Yeah. There we go! Oh my god. Yeah. As soon as you say that, he's like, what? And falls to the snowy, powdery snow. Actually, I'm not going to put a skull there. I'm going to put a sleeping man. There we go. Nice. He is slept. I imagine that you're going to disappear as soon as this fight is over, but I would prefer if you didn't. Oh, no. No, no, no. Not at all. At first, I thought you were a nuisance. Now, I find you very interesting. Yeah. I like to think that we're very similar in that regard. He smiles and shows his perfect teeth. My face betrays no emotion, and I end my turn. <laughs> I want to look at this elf. Seems like you're a bit outnumbered. Lay down your weapon now. Give me an intimidation. Uh, at advantage. Ooh, because he is Ooh. technically on fire. <laughs> he is on fire. He's, you know, two people down. Bloodstride's not helping. He's surrounded. Natural oh. 20! Oh. Jesus fuck. Oh. He holds, Jesus. Oh. He's holding his sword, gripping it intensely, and then lets go without a second motion and looks defeat. Defeat washes over his face and he's, as he closes his eyes and holds his hands up. You win. I want to sh- shove him into the snow. <laughs> uh, just to be safe, this thing, did it <laughs> just corporate... Is that thing still up? Uh, it is. No, sorry. Oh, it, no, uh, it's down since oh. he went to major. So, yes, well done. You have. I just want to shove ended. him to his knees. Yep, you can easily do so. You just, like, kind of kick his leg and he falls down to his knee. And, uh, yep, combat is over. I, w- I have a minor question. Bloodstride, and all the times that we've seen him, what does he look like? Funny you say that. He looks, you get a good look at him, and although he has a blue tinge, you can see he's draped in purple robes and wearing, um, 
I'm gonna need everyone real quick to make a. Actually, what is everyone's history score? Um, uh, I got plus two. Plus I got a one. three. I got a three. A three. I believe I have a. I have a plus four. Four. Hey. Yeah. yeah. You just make it. You recognize the skull. <gasps> this skull you've read in books. This is the skull of a stillborn. So you know, not even Gross. out of the womb. Stillborn to Rask. <gasps> oh. And you Gross. can see. Bloodstride in all his oh, glory. Fuck. That guy looks so fucking cool. Oh, he he's does so look cool oh, and I'm angry God. about it, but what the oh, no. And art done by our good friend Callie. Callie! Callie! Oh my god, Callie! Callie. Callie. Again, Callie, again, fuck? Callie cannot draw not the attractive stone. characters. Like oh, holy shit. Giant. Can we can, can we link <laughs> Callie in the stream, Love, please? Yes. Uh there to is. Callie god. that glorious British. <laughs> Like uh, badass, I she love is her. amazing. This man is a fuck, marry, kill all in one. <laughs> there we go. Oh, there's, there's the link for those of you in the chat. Marry, but... And yeah, he smiles at you. Marry. You can't quite get a good oh, look at his you. eyes as they glisten under the shadow beneath the skull. Oh. So, what now? I don't know. What do you want to know? Why the fuck did you take my father's body? He puts one hand on his chest and kind of uh, takes a few steps back a bit. Oh, I didn't do anything with your father's body. I am not here to play games. Who was it that did? Oh, I don't rightly you. know. When I arrived mm -hmm. to find more subjects, that place was destroyed when I got there. I begin to glow insight? much more intensely than before. <laughs> yeah, you may do an insight on that. I also need to, because this goes against something that I believed. If that's all right. Looking over his face, you can get a read that um, he probably doesn't have a reason to lie to you. He's protected. He's safe, and he knows it. And Nonsense. He, he's smiling, and he's giving the information as he sees fit. Uh, uh, if, if I can interject, mm -hmm. if it's all right, I, I don't want to ruin the moment. Nonsense. There were no bodies left at the fight. He puts both hands and shrugs. Well, the spine of death is not the only home for necromancers. There are so many that have not followed our way that simply walk along their own path who have not decided to join up. And what is your way? What is it that you're doing this for? Mm, he smiles and he gestures over to the animals. Eighty years is a blink of an eye. And yet the entire kingdom of Belkinus has changed so much in the absence of necromancy. And he hovers a few feet forward closer to your face, Nathaniel. Well, necromancy has returned, and it's time that the world made some room. Renee's face is like really twisted into just like disgust. I oh, yeah. You can hear the swords rattling from how hard she's gripping the blades. I am like a beacon right now. I am <laughs> violently upset. I will push my glasses up and I'm going to like look around the hologram that is Bloodstride. Where are you now? A safe place. Hmm. And he smiles. I suppose that's a matter of interpretation, given your last safe place wasn't very safe. Well, I usually like to work out on the field, but I can't be at everywhere at once. Yet? That's fair. Yet. I guess my next question was, where are you leading? Where were you leading these people? Oh, I was not leading them anywhere. You may have noticed this is a simple exercise. Yes, but you are marching them somewhere. Even if it was aimlessly through the wilderness, there has to be an end point. He smiles a bit. That is none of your concern now, is it? It became our concern when your meddling ended up causing a problem out here. Ah, but I was not the, in the one who instigated violence, now was I? You did no, that all you... on your own. No, but you are the one who's been instructing these people to be killing and raising animals and causing warg attacks. As a matter of fact, you did instigate the violence. Your undead deer attacked us. I turned towards Nathaniel a little twisted. Make a deception check. I'm giving him bardic inspiration. <laughs> <laughs> Smack him. Is, is that allowed? Noticeable. 
It will be Aww, noticeable. Oh, never mind. Yeah, all right. Here comes We're the deception. We're smarter roll. than that. <laughs> Are you smarter than a blood stride? <laughs> Are you smarter than a blood stride? It's an 18. It's very important that I get this reaction. He he just shrugs his shoulders a bit and tilting his hands back and forth. Well, these are new students and sometimes spells seem to go awry. Someone practicing evocation may accidentally set a tree on fire or two. That's, not that's the same fixable. You know it. That is nowhere near the same. Ah, if you so wish to believe so. You can always grow a new tree. Twisted bodies reviving the dead. That's unnatural. That's against the law. At the very least, I'd love to know where Luna's body is. You may not know, but you're implied. Well, it's technically Luna's because it's her dad. It wasn't, yeah, the dad Luna's isn't body. using his body anymore. Yeah. It's technically her body. I, I don't know the fucking guy. It's Luna's body now. Yeah, it's Luna's body. <laughs> anyway, in any, case, in any case, I'd like to know where Luna's body is. You say that you didn't take it, but if there are other necromantic cults, I imagine you wouldn't want them around either. Oh no, you misunderstand. We are the premier. There are no other cults around. And that word cult, it's so mm, vicious, Sitting. violent. Like Fitting. what you are. It's, as you wish to call us. But, no, they're simply individuals, like you and me. I cannot control this stranger on the side of the road who decides to rob a poor man of his wares, and I cannot control a simple, random person who wishes to raise a body for whatever their means necessary. You I can suppose. certainly encourage it out of someone, though, who already has the intent. I suppose that is a flaw in your system, then. I think we have ample proof that it was the spine who attacked that site. Ah, and where is it? Nathaniel? Mm, I look a little annoyed. I mean, I'm just gesturing being... at the bodies around us like, so let this in. I, I look a little annoyed that I'm being prodded uh, for information, but I'm going to pull out the book that we found at the campsite. Immediately, as the book comes up, his smile vanishes to a frown of anger. Oh no! Are you, you had upset? a second one inside of your dungeon. Mm, he grunts, and the visage of him disappears. There he goes. Now I'm left with more questions than answers. He <laughs> didn't like this at all. I'm going to put the book back. But why? I don't think he's lying when he says that his cult had nothing to do with it. I think more importantly, there's someone, another force at work. I guess this answers the question. If there was someone else that has these books that lost them, then the best place to catch them would be by hiding the book somewhere in plain sight. That's where we found the first one. The second one, whether it was left for us or otherwise, it may not be a calling card, but it's indicative of a third force at work. It's also a massive target on our back. Given his reaction, he's going to come with a bigger force. Good. I'll be there to meet him. As I, like, she, like, cracks her neck again. Now, what are we Fun. doing with these two? I, know, I was going to say, Renee's like, so now she's going to go ahead and start at least tying this one up and then maybe go tying this yep. one up. But she's, like, adjusting her gloves so that, like, the the bite mark isn't visible anymore. She's just like, ah, it'll be fine. Just <laughs> cover it up. It's fine. I'll look over at Enoch. I hope you don't mind. I needed to gauge his reaction to see if his belief that they aren't dangerous on their own was justified. He seemed genuine, at least. You kind of see Enoch turn his head over, kind of not to ignore, but rather be disappointed. Mm -hmm. Just let me know when we're done with them. Fair enough. Right. Renee, when you go to tie up the, the Dragonborn, it is no problem. He is asleep, uh, but he wakes cool. up just as you finish. <gasps> well, good morning. Did you sleep well? <sighs> what happened to Bloodstride? Uh, Bloodstride fucked off. Unfortunately, he kind of saw that you guys were being little shits and not doing a good job, so he kind of abandoned you. Very sad. I'm so sorry. He looks down and just looks a little frustrated. And... Uh, Everyone, make a perception check. Oh! Uh, Don't you make I, me feel bad for this fucker. I'm 
not. No, I'm, I'm just wondering if, if Blood Strike's actually nearby. And this is and this is a deliberate check a versus whole... the stat. Yeah, I got, got a it. whole. Eight. Here we go. <laughs> Enoch, uh, my pass. Ah. Uh, oh uh, no. Enoch, uh, you are the only one who notices that both of them are holding a scroll behind their back and are casting it. You have <gasps> one action to perform. Bullet in the head. Uh, which one? What? If they're gonna, if they're gonna pull this shit. Which one? Which one? Dragonborn or the elf? Uh, that one or that one? The elf is more, is closer towards a problem. I, I can't just shoot through Nathaniel. I do not have that level of viciousness. Could I make the argument that despite my role, my passive is a nineteen? Is your passive perception a 19? It is. Then you see as well, and you also have one action to perform. Fantastic. Hail Mary, let's charm a person. (laughs) Actually, no. Uh, uh, You know, that was my first reaction. Hail Mary, let's charm a person. Okay, you fire it, and you can see. Okay, charm person. So, Enoch, you fire it at the elf and right through the head, and he falls over dead and drops his scroll. Quick. Quick draw, and by the way, that was my last bullet. <laughs> nice. Oh. Will I be able to snag up that scroll, please? Uh, after well, hold on, we gotta see if yes, this works. let me roll yeah. for the dragonborn to see if he gets charmed. Let's see if this works or not. I'm going to be looking around for gold. It, it, I'm, whatever happens afterwards. Fucking grave robbing. Okay. Yep. Uh, I'll quickly bring my hand it, up. Why are you so nervous? You guys, You're you guys literally just saw a cowboy, like, quick draw moment. <laughs> Shoot from the nice. head. And yep. unfortunately, <laughs> this dragonborn makes no. a save. Oh, and a shit. Bl- quick brief motion, he he gestures with the <clears throat> scroll quickly and casts blight on himself for the Black Vein <gasps> Queen. Oh, they he want to die. He shrivels up into skin and bone and dies. <sighs> oh. Okay, yeah. mm-hmm. I'm grabbing up that other scroll, please. Yep. Right. You also oh, right. get a scroll of oh. light, Luna. Okay. All oh, right. I grind mm-hmm. my Shunt. teeth. Mm. Uh, as I step over towards uh, the elf and dragonborn, I, tar- I turn towards Renee. I have a quick question. I, I hope you don't mind me asking. Mm. Mm-hmm. She's just got her eyes closed and like covering her mouth like, mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. Are you a little um, meh by this? Oh, I don't know what the, what the hell the fuck gave you that idea. Hmm? Mm. She just kind of like does sort of like a big wide hands motion, like, gee, I don't fucking know. <laughs> like, <laughs> I, I pick the elf up by the hair and just like kind of like wave it around a bit. Oh, mm. yeah, no, abs- that is on. Unsavory, as yeah, I'm gonna absolutely no it. respect. So you guys are looting I, the bodies, then? I'm not. Yes. Okay. Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! So Luna, um, you loot the body of the uh, blue dragonborn, I guess. Uh, I wasn't looting. I was going to give Nathaniel the uh the scroll. Ah, okay. Yes. I, I I'm looting. I'm gonna oh. loot these two bodies. Okay, you loot them too, and you do find uh a coin purse on the elf. With five gold pieces, Perfect. and check otherwise, to see if they have spell books. Y- ah, you can check to see if they have spell books, and you can see that the blue dragonborn does have one. It is pretty much identical to the first one that you found in the sewers. Nothing special. Uh, I toss it over to Nathaniel. That I, uh, I ain't gonna. I don't even want to bother with that. I will take the scroll, grab the book, look through these two. Do they have spell yep. books as well? The human has a spell book as well. Very once again, a starter necromancy spell book. Uh, similar notes, mass manufactured, and the yep, dragonborn I- does not have one. Oh, also, Enoch, on the elf, you also find a greatsword, as that was what he was using. And Nathaniel, you find a spear on the dragonborn, and they also Fuck both the they also both have a breastplate. <laughs> mm. I so these are mass produced, so these aren't written by a specific person. Nope, not this at is all. Like you can just find them just they wherever. Are, they are unauthored and their covers have no markings. Then why was Bloodstride so upset that he, that we found a random book? 
unless he knew exactly what was in ours. Wait. That note. What if that was Kara's book that you found, and that she was here without Bloodstride's knowing? Perhaps. But if Bloodstride didn't know, then why would a random, manufactured necromancy book bother him so much? I don't know. Do keep in mind that the page that you found, it was like a page from a was different it book. Was it sticking out, though? It, it fell out when you picked it up. Right, right, right. I mean, but when I showed it to Bloodstride, would he have seen the, the stuck-out page? Other, or would he have just seen a random book? Uh, well, I guess that depends on where you stuck the page. That's fair. So it's not a necess- what I'm it's saying is, if yeah. I showed him- You know that he, he got upset that the fact that you found a book yep. mm -hmm. at a place that he claimed he did not send any of his necromancers. Yes, So correct. somebody went okay. against orders, maybe. Uh, right. Oh, okay. Now, yeah. I, now yep. I get it. Now yep. I get contents. Yep. yep. There are a few theories. Someone might have done that. Yep. That's a pretty strong theory, but more importantly. Either way. <sighs> I am taking that great sword. It is going to be Damn melted it. down into bullets. I am incredibly frustrated that we do not have anyone to interrogate, but what happened, happened. Sorry, I wasn't close enough to stop them. I apologize that I was, but failed. Well, there's no use, uh, no use crying about it now. It's not going to change anything. I think, well, I think we got enough information at least we know these weren't the people that attacked but these we did take out some recruits my my question now is these books i keep finding the same copy over and over are they unique to the cult or are they coming from other source other sources renee is gonna slowly so make right back um well i'm sure we can probably examine them if they attacked and there was a battle out here, I'm sure somebody had to hurt, have heard it back in town. I can ask around. Books exactly. always have authors. Just because the name is not in there does not mean we can't find anyone who can produce the same kind of book. The material from the paper, the material of the cover, Speaking even of which, the ink I have a question, used. actually. This is just about the process of book manufacturing. Exactly. Do they print uh, spell books? You have to, like, write. Yes. Right? You can't print them. You can't. So. No, you can't. If you try to mass produce in this world, uh, this is something that you would know. Uh, spells need to be written on very specific spell paper, you know, mm -hmm. for them to work. Uh, if you try to mass produce them, they're not going to work because you need a wizard to, you know, actually imbue them with magic and such. Um, so we just have to find who is imbuing these fucking yeah. magic ass so books. So a specific person is writing these fucking books. Yeah. Can't we need, anyway. like, exactly. Can't Everything we has at, its author. Can't we look at handwriting, maybe? See if we can determine if they're all penned by the same person. I will oh. open up. I will open up the two that we just got, and the third that we found at the uh, the site, and the fourth from the dungeon. And I'm going to lay them out in the snow, just like just right in front of me. That is and indeed start... exactly what they are. They all have the exact same handwriting. Mm -hmm. Take out the paper you got from the other book. And the paper's handwriting and I... is unique. Yes, that's oh, what I checked that last okay. time when I when I first I got the sure. paper. I checked to see if if they okay. were different handwritings. Th okay. This is certainly coming that was from me a different not book. Thinking. Yeah. yeah, no problem. Uh, scanning no, no, them no, over, good. Good scanning thinking. them over, like the few notes along with the little comment that you read uh, in the unique handwriting. You can see that the notes on the certain spells um, have very eerily similar parallels. Kind of very much like, sure, you can copy my work, but change the change parts of it so they don't look like they're copied. Oh, so it's a follower? No. Someone's following someone. <laughs> the person who wrote this note, one of the sisters, Abigail or Kara, is the same person that's writing all of the notes here. They've penned themselves as Kara Maharian, that we, that we learned in the dungeon. Right. Mm. Which means that certainly these books all come from the Spine of Death. Which means certainly either Bloodstride lied... Or, more, more reasonably, he didn't know that somebody disobeyed him. Well, we're not going to get anywhere by just talking ourselves into circles. We should probably get back up to the town, try and to to sort out where to go next. We're going to Chester. Yes? Now, I'd I will like say, back. you guys are part way down the mountain. You can choose to go back up, but that will take the rest of the day. Nope. So, I don't have the time for that. <laughs> Ain't nobody got time for that. Mm. All right, well, 
There are two options. We can keep going or we can go back and ask questions, but I think we might have all the answers we need. We know this vine was here. We know they stole your father. The only question is, who is giving orders besides Bloodstride? I don't know. I want to know why they raised him. I'm sure we'll figure it out. Come on. Mm -hmm. Weather gets really dangerous at night. We should try to get off the mountain. So which, so I guess which we're making way are you guys heading? To Chester? Uh, I will bring map time. Map, map time. Map time. You guys are about oh, there. Map. So are we going to maybe through Ruggerwood? Ruggerwood? Yeah, to Ruggerwood Chester? seems like it would be our next through stop. Wugga, 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 wugga. Right. Rugga, 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 rugga. You travel along this path trying to find your way down. It's a lot easier than finding your way up the mountain, especially uh, since there is a paved road kind of made from footsteps and carriages that leads you the way down. And you arrive kind of late, uh, ignore how this looks. You arrive around late afternoon as the sun is setting to Rugga Wood. Ooh, this place pretty. Nice oh, quaint this little town. Uh, it's got a good it looks, small town vibe. It looks to be Ooh. a fairly small town with houses pretty spaced apart, lots of cattle and farmland, as well as, uh, you know, random people populating the grassy plains. And you can see various people out and about going about their day, trading, chatting, laughing. Hey, this doesn't look like shit at all. Was this art, <laughs> was this art, done, by, was this art done by you or the... This art was done by Angel. I enjoy oh, it's beautiful. beautiful. Very nice. Like I, I keep I can't stop Get staring some at the trees. Vibes. The trees are really pretty. Link it in the chat. Yes. Renee will probably beautiful. like tug at Nathaniel and just cause it's like these are small houses, like pro I don't know about any like tavern or hotel or anything. This looks like a bunch of like bunch of people just hanging out together. Just being like, uh, if we need to try to convince someone to let us stay the night, we can play the lame dog excuse. I haven't gone and healed anything just yet, so she's just like, basically like, I can limp in like a little dog going, I need a place to live. Uh, I suppose we can do traveling investigators if we we'll need start a place. With that. Well, does it look like there's any obvious like inn or tavern or place of respite or is this just a bunch of houses there is uh as you head further into the town oh, there good. is one large building with a massive claw painting kind of on uh it is the golden claw that uh, is painted on a billboard atop of it and as you approach you do see kind of right out front along the road there seems to be several humanoids arguing one earth genasi who seems to be accompanied with a handful of other folk who are wearing very similar looking ragged pieces of armor that is very makeshift uh, and uh, Enoch you can, looking it over, you can tell this is shoddy craftsmanship at best uh, they're not uniform, they are just rushedly pushed together put put together um, and the Earth Genasi she, needs, she seems to be arguing with a fear bull who is sitting in a wheelchair of some kind, very heavy set built and you can see that she is missing both her legs, capped with what look like uh, kind of copper uh, cats, some kind. They're arguing over can something. Say, can I say I love this inclusivity? Yes. Um, yes. Uh, if we get closer, can we make out what they're arguing about? Does this seem like a, you know, just a, hey, you bumped into me spat or is this something more? Yeah, they're not yeah. trying to hide it. They're shouting. And as you get closer, you can hear that they're arguing over some kind of protection. Uh, you know, the, the Genasi is like, but with so many necromancers going around, you're going to need someone to fend for yourself. And the, uh, the fear bulb just slams her arm on her uh, armrest. We don't need any protection from the likes of you. And as you get closer, mm. you can see that um, uh, she's heavy built. Uh, she's got uh, short graying hair, scars all across her body. She's missing both her legs. Um, they've got brass caps. And you can see that her left arm has a very dull rounded tip hook from the elbow down. And she's sitting in a decked out wheelchair with various attachments, gadgets, machinery, most notably a mechanism that seems to be assigned to a large crossbow by one of its wheels. <gasps> yes, that's a amazing. Yes. She's got a suitcase <laughs> wheelchair. Do I not mess it. with her, she is strapped. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. 
So, does, so it seems like this the Genasi is trying to sell some form of protection to, to this woman, and this woman is not having any of it. No, nope, what it does seems not. Like. And while you get closer, you see a, a very tall, muscular red dragonborn clad in some worn out yet fancy chainmail armor, bearing a massive sword on his back, a few scars across his face. He steps in, says a few words that you can't quite hear in a low, deep voice to the Janassi. The Janassi seems to submit, shaking their head with a smile. And then they, they start to leave from the way that you guys came. And she gives you all a smug look and a little nod of greeting as she passes you uh. by. Just to be sure, the Dragonborn of the Janasi were the ones that were complaining about there, there being necromancers about. No, the they were discussing something they about based, necromancers. Yeah. Uh, the Janasi right. was saying that perhaps they could use protection, and the fear bulb I lady see. in the wheelchair was like, we don't need your protection. You didn't quite hear what the Dragonborn said. I see. Uh, yeah. In that case, I'm going to give a knowing glance to Renee. A nivel one, all right. <laughs> uh, just... take investigations? Which take all investigations. Right. Uh, and then I am going to take a few long steps forward in front of the, the, the crowd as I am dispersing. She's going to mirror him, but, in a sense, like on the side. When you, te- when you take a, when you take a few up? steps, you recognize this dragonborn. <gasps> and he recognizes you, and his eyes <gasps> open, and he smiles a bit, but waits for you to approach. I put my hands down immediately. My eyes widen. Renee just looks over like, huh? Like she was and about to do like a little face, boat thing and just goes, huh? <laughs> my face goes stern. What in the world are you doing here? Ah, he gives you a big, large gesture with his arms and smiles. Ah, the witch taker wizard has arrived in our quaint little town. What a joyous huh? occasion. What brings you here, witch taker? I am on a job. What in the world are you doing here? Uh, I'm simply helping out where I can. You saw those protectors, as, as so they are called, traveling in all the lands, exploiting their defenselessness, taking advantage of horrible situations in the kingdom. I can't sit idly by and let that happen. Can you? As a matter of, and my eyes like get wider in a more stern face. As a matter of fact, you can. Why are you not back in Belkanis? Oh, Wait, just... do I know this person? Wait. <laughs> You don't know this person. Wait, notices, I'm so confused. He notices Renee take an interest yes. in this, and he he kind of looks past uh, Nathaniel and extends an arm out. Lancel, at your service. Nice to meet you all. It's a pleasure, I... sir. She's kind of like giving him like the benefit of the doubt. She's like keeping the polite face, but is also looking at fucking Nathaniel like, what the fuck? I kind of <laughs> just pull the the tip of my hat down just a bit and well that's fancy and all I think y'all have your own business I have business to attend to myself In the we're all on the same business what business do you have to attend to? I'm assuming that he has a business with a bottle no I imagine that he should have that business right now Lancel what oh, in the never world mind. are you doing here <laughs> I going around gallivanting you're supposed to be in the city well, I'm just getting all cooped up in there, and, and he gets interrupted by the fear bulk who rolls in in between you, kind of like bumping into you. And uh, she looks up to you, Nathaniel. She is like belly height. You look like garbage. Did you bathe in the mud and fight a giant with an overflowing bladder? <laughs> Luna just busts out laughing. <laughs> Enoch breaks down laughing in the front of this building. I feel like both, I feel like both Enoch and Lunar are just on the ground from that one. Yeah. Renee, ironically enough, is not thrown off by this. She just goes, not that quite That is some but me slapping good burns. You will not be doing any business in here until I learn of who you are. I am the chief here. It is very much a pleasure to meet you, ma'am. And she, Renee will do, do like a sort of little bow and like reach out her hand and formally introduce herself. She cocks one eyebrow and takes it very cautiously. Juliana. It is a pleasure to meet you, Juliana. I apologize for the strange introduction, to say the least. Um, there's a bit of familiarity here if you cannot already tell. But um, we're just passing through and we're looking for a place to stay for the night, if that's all right. Well, I am hoping you are not looking for much supplies. We are very low no, right ma'am. now. We get plenty of coin from the royal guard buying up our harvest, but my town cannot eat coin. 
with the no, capital being closed, import has been slow. You may stay, you but you may not right. take much. I appreciate the, I appreciate you letting us stay the night. I'm sure that, that we are. That is more than we can ask for. I, my eyes don't break from Lancel. I am sure that we are all getting ready to go to our intended destinations. And he he's, you can tell just out of habit that he's trying, he's feigning a smile and confidence. You can tell he's fucking terrified. Mm-hmm. <laughs> As he should mm-hmm. be. He better be. <laughs> I, I, like, Renee's like, it seems like there's a lot to catch up here. Um, would you mind us taking a seat somewhere, uh, maybe in, in the tavern, just to rest our legs for a bit? If... She takes Ms. one Juliana. lever and, like, cranks it a few times, and her seat starts to rise a few inches from her wheelchair up to you at eye height. Mm-hmm. I am watching you, strangers. It will be she very just easy. Keeps her I eye wear contact. a big yellow coat. <laughs> <laughs> Never hear, like Renee's kind of like looking over at him, like she's never heard him this irritated. Like, holy shit! And she's just keeping a smile though. Just mm-hmm. we'll make sure to stay out of trouble as best we can. Mm-hmm. She nods and pulls the the lever, and whoop, her wheelchair goes back to its original height. And I she points her. to you, Enoch, specifically at your arm. You, tomorrow, I speak with you about that. Oh, 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 oh. man. Oh, oh. What? Client? I think that might uh, be just your 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 line of work, Enoch. He he leans over to the closest people, to the closest person to, in person to him to whisper, I, I'm not here on doctoral business. I don't even have my equipment. I just I, I mean Luna was dying on the ground with you, so I'm going to assume it was her? Probably her. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I mean, what, what's the harm in a simple consultation, then? I don't see why not. I mean, it's a good way to make some coin, yes? We're kind of running a bit low on that. You look uncomfortable. <sighs> Does tonight make better time? <laughs> I, he, so would be de- he would be delighted. And I kind of I push her. Enoch what? towards you. <laughs> uh, 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 what? what? I, does she Come have, on, I, you need to do something besides run. drink tonight, all right? Well, uh, I Please. just... Uh, all right. I would love to have a wonderful conversation. Mm, good, she says, without a, just continuing to frown. <laughs> and I she she pulls another lever and rolls away. Does she have art? She does not, unfortunately. No. I if you would like, I can commission someone to make some art. I Fan want art. Her we need in art on this person. This. She's, she beats all of them. I'm sorry, Grickyak. I'm sorry, yeah. No Tail. She's yeah. perfect. Yeah, uh-huh, she's nothing amazing. beats Grickyak. Sorry. Um, no. Also, I stand this as... lady. I don't know her name, but I stand her. Juliana. Or Juliana. Juliana. Yeah, Juliana. Juliana. I'm terrible with names. Is, I'll forget it, okay. but I stand it. As soon as Juliana's out of sight, like Renee's smile, like drops and she looks over at Lancel and Nathaniel just like puts her hand like crosses her arms and just looks at the both of them Uh, perhaps we could go in for a drink oh we're drinking now (sighs) Luna's gonna pull out the bottle of red wine that she bought and hand it Uh, to you and Renee is gonna pull out her own red (laughs) bottle of wine that she bought (laughs) I bring my hand up absolutely not I pull out the rest of you a flask. The rest of you go to the tavern. I will meet you there, Lancel. What? For a brief moment, can we talk in private? Yes, I wasn't actually planning on drinking. I'll follow you. Hmm. I I want to kind of like nudge over to Renee. Let them have their talk. I want to talk to you anyway. And I just kind of like shake the uh, the bottle that I'm holding, like. She just, like, she looks upset, <laughs> but she will just sigh <laughs> and just say, I expect you back then. She just of course. squints over at Lancel, like, who are you and how do you have this access? <laughs> like, hey. But we'll go with Luna. No, no one else is allowed to be friends with no him but me, No one else is allowed to be friends. <laughs> hey, hey, Joe, uh, with, with this in thought, um, with uh, with this brand new interaction, Enoch thinks that he might need some stuff. Is there a local 
blacksmith around? Yes, you are able to get some general supplies if you so wish, and we can do that after Nathaniel's thing. Okay. All right, awesome. So, Nathaniel, and I hope the players will respect their characters not knowing any of this. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, no! Nathaniel, like metagaming. You, you grab Lancel to the side to a quaint little tree, uh, just kind of away from hearing eye, seeing eyes and hearing ears. Young man, do you understand why you are supposed to stay inside of the city? I know, I know, but father, I can do so much more in the field. It is because my job makes me a very dangerous person. That danger invites dangerous people. You, I know, you want to do good things for the world. Believe me, I understand that. That's what this is all about. But every time you sneak off, you get closer to people like them. I don't even know half of them. Discovering who you're related to. And if they figure that out, then you aren't just going to be going on small little adventures with your friends anymore, no. You'll be thrust into the real world with real dangers. And he, he pumps his fists a little bit in a little frustration. And I'm ready for that. And that's why I think we could make such a great team. We can have the best of both worlds of what goes on in the city with all the books and your, your lackeys and divide and conquer. We can both do it together. But not yet. You're too young. And if something happened, uh, what, truthfully, what are you doing here right now? Well, you saw the protectors. I read a few notes that you were tracking them down and you're keeping an eye on them. And I saw that you they had targeted a few places. So I thought you've been going through my ledgers. Uh, a, a tad. <sighs> Hand to face, I sigh. <sighs> Listen, Father, I cannot sit idly by when I feel like I could do something. Please, just, if at least just for today and tonight, I want to prove to you what I can do. And he just takes a moment and takes a few steps back. And if I can't, then I will go back to the city and wait for your return. <sighs> Alternative choice. No matter what, you go back to the city, and you will await my return. But I I cannot overlook the fact that you are here now, and that now you have been seen by three people who are going to wonder who you are to me. So, you are simply a junior member of the investigation, of my investigation. Understood? He gives you a faux salute. You will help for as long as we are here. And then when I see fit, you are going back to Belkinus. You are going back home. And you will stay there and stop getting into trouble. Give me a persuasion. Persuasion. He looks down and kind of slumps to the ground, crosses his legs a bit in a little sit, and he thinks for quite a few moments. <sighs> yes, Father. But until then, let's see what you can prove. And he looks up, and just the tiniest smile crosses his face. I have made a positive impact on, on this town. Here, I can show you. Very well, lead the way. He gets up and he leads you into the tavern where the rest of you are and there is a party going on. People are chanting and cheering and drinks are being passed out. And uh, you can see that uh, there is a uh, Warforged bartender who has various different prosthetics kind of extending out of his chest, mixing drinks, tossing them out, kind of oh. spinning around. And uh, he, he calls to you all. Hello, would you like to have a drink? Uh, 
I want to look at uh, Nathaniel, or not Nathaniel, sorry, <laughs> uh, Enoch and Renee, uh, and just give a nod and uh, put some gold down. I'll buy the first round. Of course. By the way, my name is Tapwater, and although we are low on supply, I can spare you some cider or perhaps some a premier dairy. Our cattle makes the best of milks. Uh, I hear milk, and I immediately <laughs> throw down a gold coin. Make him a bone strong. <laughs> okay, okay. So I'm not paying for you then. Um, Renee, what would you like? Uh, I'll just uh, st- stick with the alcohol. I cannot yeah. deny this dairy delicacy, dog. Uh, how how much for two ciders? Oh, that will be a single gold piece, please. And Thank you. Do keep in mind, madam. And he points to Renee with your wine uh, in hand. That although uh, I can, drinking, I can put that the way. Per- drinking of outside yep. uh, things is permitted, I will have to kick you out oh. if you cause trouble in my tavern. I won't have to worry about that. I do appreciate you letting us drink inside, though. Very good. She has like a little, little half smile, like polite, like, yep, thank you. Mm-hmm. Is there, I know you said it's like rowdy in here, but is there a couple seats maybe off to the side? Yeah, there's a few seats open. Lettuce? You see that there's there's a small group having a good time. And, okay. and as you take your seats, someone bursts through a back door. You can see a satyr burst through the back door and holding up uh, a few potion bottles. I've done it! I've made the perfect potion! It'll strengthen even the time. Here, 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 look, try it out. And you can see the entire tavern just groan. Ugh. Oh, come on, somebody try it out. Anyone, anyone, please. What is it meant to do? <gasps> uh, they look to you and their eyes go wide and their mouth opens even wider with a big oh. smile. And they Instant slide regret. on in. <laughs> oh, I'm regret. glad you asked, friend because this is Mirth's grand potion of strength. Patent pending. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. You've caught my interest. Have caught my interest. You've caught my interest? Yes, and I've been so. brewing this thing for quite a long time and experimenting and, oh my gosh, is that a metal arm? <laughs> <laughs> it is just like. Enoch, you're so popular. <laughs> Here, I here. have no and idea why. They, they they slide next to you. Here, here, since you're missing a part of your arm, then it probably, <laughs> if it has side effects, probably wouldn't harm you that much, right? You're the perfect <gasps> test subject. The eyes begin to glow and the gears begin to turn. <laughs> oh, please don't. Please as don't as start as, a fight. As as and as Mirth, Mirth, um, like, Mirth's eyes notice this and they, they see it and they're like, oh, pretty. Uh, uh, Mirce, Monsieur Mirce, is it? A guinea pig. Monsieur Mirce, if, if I could be so bold, um, would you mind letting us perhaps uh, field commission, like field uh, test this? At a oh, of course, by all time? means. First one's on the house. And in fact, oh, I'm so it. desperate for test subjects. Which mm-hmm. And uh, they, they lift up a little pouch uh, next to you, Enoch. Would you be willing to be paid, guinea pigs? I would. Um, I just, I, list, I would love to help you, but as, my, <laughs> as I myself and my companions, we are actually going to be leaving very soon. But if we are allowed to take them with us, we can actually write down everything that happens in there. We can give you extremely detailed, we can give you extremely detailed uh, pictures, drawings, Crafts, whatever you need. And basically, like, I'm like, I'm not going to test it on myself, but I know plenty of people I'm about to go meet that I can probably so test it on. So that I know, sounds... I'm going to say that's probably a persuasion, because, I don't know, you might write down the things. I might just go, like, I don't think you're totally lying, this. so persuasion. I'm not lying. I'm just like, maybe I will find somebody. I don't know, and I want to <laughs> be can... paid. You can physically see the upper I, body. It's automatically, it's automatically a twenty-eight because of my silver tongue. Oh, eloquence a bar. Critical oh, right. failure, silver tongue. Critical failure, silver tongue. But 18. it goes from a one to a twenty-eight because I can't roll below a ten. At this explanation, Mirth, uh, they just kind of like sit there thinking for a bit, hand on their chin. And then immediately pipe up, okay, and hands hands you all of the potions. You have And the money? Uh yes. You get Yay. <laughs> ten gold pieces and Hooray, six of Mirth's patent pending 
strength potions. Perfect. Okay, so she will keep her, like, polite smile on, and she'll be like, Oh, thank you so very much. I will make sure to take very detailed notes, and I will make it back here and tell you all about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they continue to just kind of eyeball um, Enoch's arm, but trying to make it look like they're not eyeballing it. They're failing. They're failing immensely. Can I ask what exactly this passion is meant to do? Well, it's supposed to give you the strength and power to take on anything, at any situation. If you need to see with the eyes of a hawk, only think it, take a swig of the potion, and it will make you see for miles around, all the way to the cliff's faces of the tallest mountain. Mm. And I just... say, say you need to, I don't know, lift an entire house to move it somewhere else. Uh, you can drink this and give you the strength of a five giants. Very interesting. I would like to insight this, please. I, yep. I, mean, I seems... take the last swig of my milk. I stand up. Blacksmith. <laughs> okay. Yep. Goodbye. You can Goodbye. insight that Goodbye. and you leave and you can see... <laughs> Uh, you can see that there's enthusiasm in every single word that they say. I don't know if Luna's ever been around salesmen before, because she's from the Peaks. So. Renee is a saleswoman, so she's like, oh yeah. <laughs> yep, uh, they they seem to believe everything that they say. I'm sure if you want to learn more about the arm, you can follow uh, Miss Renoch wherever he is going. I would like, advise say against... That's a... Uh, oh, only if he'll allow. I, I, I've just only started doing alchemy, and uh, you know, your, 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 your arm, it seems like a, maybe an advanced form of invention and alchemy, and I very much would like to learn more. Ever ever since Juliana you know, made that wheelchair, I've taken a, a liking, but if you don't want to, that's totally fine. Oh, you see, look, he wants to learn. She's like giving him puppy dog ass. Why don't you go make a friend? Come on. It blacksmith. Well, Enoch. All uh, right, you walk off to the blacksmith, and uh, you see Mirth. I is... do turn around and I look at Mirth. Blacksmith, is that a yes? I think that's an invitation. I think that's a yes. <laughs> they just kind of like hop in place a little bit. You can see that their <laughs> their satyr like hooves are clacking on the wood floor, and they kind of dust off their pants. Okay, mm. ah, good. Make myself I presentable. Love them. And, oh, I love uh, them. And they follow behind you every now and then, just being like, So you're from around here? Nope. I'm from Balkanist. Least proper. Nice. And making horribly awkward small talk. Why yeah. can I only see fucking Pippin from Lord of the Rings fucking oh, walking no. next to me? The only proof for the brave and true comes from the green dragon. <laughs> okay, as, as Enoch walks out, you pass by uh, Nathaniel and Lancel, just kind of like, Lancel just waves hi. Uh, hello, good day. Hello. All right. And I look at I look at Nathaniel. Actually, can I make an insight on these two to kind of gauge their relationship? That is, well, what? I mean, you can maybe... Uh I don't. I don't know. I will that. say he's As, allowed to gauge my personality because it was weird how I walked off with this yeah, one random person. You can, you like, can see to gauge off, something, like, whether it's their relationship yeah. or not. Yeah. You can roll yeah. an insight. What you will gauge? Relationship. Yeah. Who knows? Yeah. Relationship. I don't know how he could divine that, but per, I, like, no, I have no idea who they are. This is some random, some random dragonborn that he's talking to. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> not my problem. <laughs> I'm very worried about uh, about Enoch talking to Lancel. I do not want the stupid <laughs> to transfer. Don't let the stupid spread. <laughs> don't touch my child. Oh, don't touch like you. my boy. Also, if if he sees Enoch while Enoch is drunk, it could cause problems. Oh, oh, oh no! Alcohol, his alcoholism could ensue. Lancel could get the idea that that's what alcoholic people are like. Uh, Many problems oh are in the world right now. Best oh, to like keep them locked inside, I say. <laughs> I, I do have I do have a quick question. If me and Renee would have a chance to chat before Nathaniel and yeah, you might. I'm fine with that. Go ahead. I'm in. fine with that. Go ahead. After because after Enoch walks off, uh, Luna's gonna turn to you, Renee, and mm -hmm. uh, she was being pretty playful before, but her expressions is kind of not quite 
it's got more serious, but it's still kind of, you know, laid back, because, you know, mm -hmm. it's Luna. I... Are you all, all right, I guess, is the first thing. <laughs> You've been kind of... Jumpy. Maybe, maybe that's not the right word. You seemed very upset at what happened in the mountain, and it seems like it was a bit more than just seeing animals being raised. Are you okay? I don't really much care for necromancy. I've experienced it before, and I would rather... I usually... <sighs> she just, like, puts her glass down. I know it is bad, and, it, and I want to try and stop it as much as possible. It just never sits well with me. Even after all, so much time. She's just rubbing at the glass. She puts a hand on your shoulder. It's, it just, it's gentle. It's kind of just, you know, comforting. I'm not going to pry, but if, I don't know, bad memories come up, you need to talk to someone, especially with what we're doing. Doors open. Uh, I don't really keep it that much of a secret. I just tend to not really, you know, bring it up in everyday conversation. Like, hey, guess what? The deal is, what is going on in my life? Just jazz hands is like at the table of like, <laughs> I'm, I'm for flair, but not for that much. Uh, my father before necromancy. I'm sorry. Doesn't matter that much anymore. He's just not around anyway. Dead or run off? In prison. I made sure of that. Good. She when, just nods. When was this? If you don't mind my asking. Ah. Uh, decade and change. That way. Oh, that's it. Hmm? After after that, I just I I didn't want to see other people using it, so I kind of threw myself into it, into stopping it. I guess. Is that how you started working with Nathaniel? And she she nods like that. That gets a little bit of like a smirk out of her, <laughs> um, <laughs> and she just goes. Ah, uh, yes, no, I, I hunted, I hunted that motherfucker down. <laughs> you, you hunted him? Well, hunted is very forceful. Um, I may have put myself in a proper situation to meet him. Oh. She just Which is part the of the reason table. why our lovely, um, uh, the, <laughs> God, which is why specifically Miss head of Belkinus does not really care for me that much. I oh. may have been involved in a little bit of smuggling. In a little bit of what? Sorry. <laughs> no, like, my, my audio cut out. Uh, I'm like... I, I said smuggling. <laughs> oh. Well, uh... I'm sure you know by now that might have not have been the smartest choice, so I won't point that out. Um, oh, I don't know about it. I don't know about that. Maybe not necessarily the most honorable, but it was one of the quickest. Could I arrive at this point? <laughs> sure. uh, would if, you guys be okay with that? I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. I'm fine, I'm, with, that. I'm fine yep. with that. It seems like just, we've moved from the heavy more to the yeah, so how did you two meet? Yeah, it's perfectly fine. <laughs> She's like, it's perfectly fine. Yeah, just, no, I practically, I practically was just walking up to him and telling him that I was going to be there working I for mean, him. The, how could you miss him? Look what he's wearing. Oh, hi! <laughs> <laughs> As I pull Please. up a chair, I will sit down, begin to open my ledger and write in it, and I will say, it was actually a very interesting case. I didn't expect it to all come down to one person. I thought that it was a third organization. You made a lot of noise. Well, it... technically it was the organization. I was just helping lead you to them. Yes, when... very thankful. You took your sweet if, time. If I could interrupt real briefly, when you did arrive yeah. inside, as soon as you stepped in and uh, Lancel followed you in, Nathaniel, the almost the entire tavern uproars, Way, Lancel! And he kind of does like a sheepish wave to everybody. Aww. Renee like squints over at Lancel. <laughs> he is so grounded. <laughs> <laughs> Renee just like squinting over at 
Hansel, but then look back at Nathaniel. Oh, my it's, face it's... betrays no emotion. <laughs> no one is allowed to know. Oh, yeah, so and he takes he takes a seat by you, uh, Nathaniel, and he he makes himself very very small, kind of legs tucked in, arms kind of covering his belly, shoulders hunched. How old does he appear to be? Uh, he looks like young adult, but he is a large dragonborn. He's very, he's Baby. like, he's clearly like a head and a half taller than Nathaniel. Is he Baby. drinking age? That's what I'm really asking. Yeah, he looks, he looks drinking age, but very recently. Mm. Uh, Luna's gonna kind of shake the, uh, like a uh, gesture to the wine bottle. Can I tempt you? Absolutely not. He, he waves, she looks over he at Nathaniel. His, he waves his hand dismissively. Asking. No, no, I'm, I, I'm all right. Right. Nathaniel, this... re- you really should look up from your book every now and then. I wasn't speaking to you. Oh, right. Uh, uh, I suppose introductions are in order. Luna, Rene, this is Lancel. He's a junior investigator that was meant to remain in Belkinus. Uh, oh, junior but... investigator. Yes, it was very surprising to see him here. And he is not allowed to drink because as he's learning to be a proper investigator, he needs to keep his wits about him. You can see that he, he only looks down at the table. But uh, while I'm out in the field, although against your orders, sir, uh, I was able to do quite a few things, if I may show you. The whole tavern seems to be in an uproar with whatever you've done. Yes, and he kind of like puts one hand on your shoulder, Nathaniel and starts to point out various different people in the tavern. He points to a tiefling man. That one over there, th- that's Henrik. He was having trouble putting out a fire and I was able to help him. And that one over there, that's Priscilla. Uh, she was under attack by some bandits that the defenders, I'm sure, sent them. But no, I was able to help them along with a few other folk. And that one over there, uh, that one is Jasmine. And she was attacked by the spine of death and I couldn't sit idly by and I, I fended all, them off and tried my best and as he's speaking and your face staying as cold as it is is you know his tone starts to lower and lower and less excitement I, I, just... I will not change my my face but I will cut him off saying that was fantastic work well done Aww. his, his shoulders <laughs> rise a little bit very monotone voice he gets credit he does not get Acceptance. <laughs> oh, he's that, you're that kind of a dad, huh? Okay. Renee is <laughs> going to lean over to Lancel. So when did you become a junior investigator? Oh, since the day I, uh, 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 quite, uh, quite a few a year years ago. ago. Yeah, yes. A ye- a I'm inside year. checking the motherfucker. <laughs> Shit, she can't get through me, but she can get through him. <laughs> 28, motherfucker! Tell me who you are! He's stuttering his words. He's trying. It's as if he's looking around the room for a story. Oh. He's looking around the room. He's avoiding eye contact. He is scratching his head, and Nathaniel is making him nervous. Uh, I am going to interject. Lancel, you mentioned that one of these people was involved with the Spine of Death. That happens to be who I am here to investigate. Tell me more about that. Yes, well, they were here about uh, a week ago with a small army and someone was traveling in on their caravan and was attacked by some undead. I was able to fend them off, but unfortunately I was not able to capture the perpetrator. They ran off. You, You fought them? I did. And they saw your face? He lowers his head again. Yes. I sigh. <sighs> that is acceptable. You did good work. And those people would have been harmed if you did not step in. I only wish that I could have done more. No one was harmed, but they got away. Well, luckily for you, I am here. And I am looking for them myself. So, we can kill two birds with one stone. We go find these necromancers, and so long as they haven't gotten enough time to report back that a dragonborn has disrupted their operations, we will be able to not only deal with them here, but possibly gain a stepping stone to the bigger operation. You are, in fact, exactly what I needed at this time. 
he looks up a little bit in surprise at you. I, I betray no emotion. He's not getting anything from me. <laughs> only, only very direct, matter-of-fact words. And with that, in <laughs> the meantime... In the meantime, yeah. Enoch, you are traveling and being annoyed by mirth, asking so many questions on the way to the blacksmith. I want every single question answered. Uh, every single one, like, <laughs> sincerely. Like, yeah. All right, so what do you want to know? Well, I want to know how all that stuff works. It, it, it can't just be normal magic, right? I don't think it ultimately is. I'm, I do apologize for my recent demeanor. I don't do well with a lot of people being a little bit too pry. Oh, no, no worries. It seems a lot of people in the town don't seem to enjoy my accompaniment. But that's okay. I've gotten used to it. And I look down to him. I just recently found out how to do it. Not that I'm relatively happy about the scenario in which it was achieved. I just... It's complicated. And magic is a... I think magic, at least from my perspective, is a conduit, or at least an ungrasp an ungrasping force that you add a conduit to. You see it's... them, when you say this, they clap their hands and interrupt you. That's exactly what I was thinking, because the other day, and they reach into their, their pocket and pull out some blueprints of their own. And you can see that it's various oh. different types of writing, experimenting, some of them scratched out on various different kinds of potions and their implementation. And in doing so, I'm going to be really nice. And I pull out the piece of paper to which started the idea of learning how to imbue magic to metal. And I present it to him. I came up with this sometime around last night. Maybe we can trade notes. You see their eyes go wide and they take it and like with just like one smooth motion dropping their paper and slowly reaching for yours. Oh, it's as if they have found a room full of treasure. I up, 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 up. They hold we their hands up. We trade notes. We trade notes, not give them. Oh, yes, of course. Here. And... Mirth, uh, Mirth hands you their, their sheet uh, handily and doesn't even ex uh, just puts both their hands behind their back, just very proud of their paper. And you look it over and uh, it's some amateur work, but it could have some merit if given enough experiments and maybe a little bit of refining. It is some various potions of strength, you know, as they said. And However, there are some other ones that can enhance already existing pieces of machinery. Uh, most notably, you see notes for Juliana's uh, uh, wheelchair. Looking over Juliana, uh, looking over these blueprints, did you make her chair? Oh no, she did that herself, but uh, I was thinking I could make some enhancements and looking at uh, I'm guessing that she would want to as well, but but also if I could learn a little bit more, I, I could do so much more, you know? I, I, I feel like if people would just give me a chance. Like your I, friend did when, you know, she offered to take the potions off my hands and test them out. I look at him confidently. Them, by give the way. Give a slight... Oh, them? Mm -hmm. I look at them and I give a nice warm smile. Well, you definitely got the smarts for it. Their eyes start to and water a little bit. Yeah! I do, don't I? Well, let's go see the blacksmith. Perhaps we can pull out some materials and discuss things over a drink. Ooh, they pump their fists a little bit, and you head to the blacksmith, and what kind of supplies are you looking for? Uh, I am in need of uh, some classical black powder and... Uh, God. I need... Well, no, I need that steel that I got from that sword to be broken up into okay. small ingots for bullet making. All right. And then also, if they have any silver left over, then I'll pay a gold for that. OK, so in order to break down the great sword, let's see. So breaking down the great sword uh, 
is going to take 15 gold pieces to melt it down ah. and break it into ingots for you. Oh, I'm going to have to do it myself then. I don't have the money. Uh, and at, Fine, I'll just... At, at this, you can see that uh, Mirth holds up one hand and kind of like taps taps a finger on your shoulder. Um, uh, perhaps I could help. I know a little bit of transmutation and, you know, I've been doing some alchemy myself. I, if you would like a hand. I would love that kind of assistance. Yes! And they pump their fists down a little bit. And then turn around back to you and just regain composure with a big, bright smile. Alright. Well... Whatever uh, black powder you might have on you, I'll just, uh, I got five gold pieces for that. Mm. The blacksmith grunts, uh, it's, it's fairly cheap, you know, black powder, uh, like, it's kind of residue from some other things, and, you know, mages using fire magic, uh, and all that. Um, you are able to get a small pouch of black powder, uh, for eight gold pieces. Yeah, I can do that. All right. I trade him the, the gold for the black powder. And I guess I'll have to do some bullet making tonight. Oh, you, you mind if I watch? You know, Juliana sure, doesn't let see me watch not. any of her, her inventions. I don't see why not. Oh, actually, I do have a meeting with her tonight. Oh, mm. uh, all, all, all right then. Yeah, we'll, yeah. we'll do we'll do it first thing in the morning. How about that? A big smile beams around their cheeks from ear to ear, and you see them about to go in for a hug, but then they 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 take their hands back and just kind of uh, step back. <clears throat> that would be good. Yes. Where I'm from, the best source of. Appreciation is a nice firm handshake. I extend my hand out. Yeah. Yes, of course. And you go to grab it. And it's it's a fairly hairy hand, you know, the back of the hand's got quite a bit of, you know, uh that fawn hair. And uh shake it. You see that uh their hands are rough like yours. One that works. I can tell. A nice warm smile kind of crawls across the face again. Well then, to a meeting. To a meeting. I'll, I'll and see you in the in the, in the tavern then. Very well. And I uh, tip my hat towards the blacksmith, thank him for his time and uh, his business, and I return back to everyone with my uh, brand new apprentice, apparently. And about this time, uh, it starts to get late and start to become nightfall, and people are exiting the tavern, kind of bidding Lancel farewell. A few of them kind of pipe in and say a few you know, nice comments back at him. They're very friendly with him, uh, but he, he doesn't make too much small talk before kind of like trying his best to give you guys some space. Uh, and stealing glances at Nathaniel each time. Meanwhile, I am just... Right, we need to list out all of the things that are going to be a danger when we go on this journey. Ruffians, thugs, poison ivy, quicksand, cannibals, snakes, the plague. Ca cannibals. No! Cannibals, also, Nathaniel, large really? I'm sorry, what? No! Men with pointy teeth. No! <laughs> what? what in Mahari hell are you talking about? If I may, uh -huh. if, I, if I may, Mr. Witch Taker there... A few of those things I don't think are prominent in Belkinus. You don't know that. I. <laughs> he seems to have those things enough do you... about what's going on. I need to know. I one of the things so. that he listed do I know is not prominent in Belkinus? Uh, <laughs> poison Ivy, quick quicksand, sand. cannibals, and snakes. The what the fuck? What the fuck? Uh, <laughs> there's probably not quicksand in Belkinus, as it is a, a grassy <laughs> land. Um. <laughs> There, there, there haven't been any recorded history of cannibalism, at least not widespread. Uh, perhaps maybe some random dude decided to eat a body one one time in a history book. Uh, I, Nathaniel, Nathaniel, hmm. 
Yes. Are you thinking about the right country? Because most of Belkinus is grassland. Quicksand does not happen in grassland. <laughs> and it and is cannibals. For that cannibalism. And, and it is for that reason that you are going to get sunk in quicksand, and I am going to have to free you. By this I, point, I feel like Renee has had, like, she has not been paying attention to how much she's been drinking and has had now the full bottle of wine. <laughs> I feel like Luna's taken half of hers down, so we're just kind of like... <laughs> but that doesn't make... You should know that we don't have quicksand. I, but you should know that. Do you really just never leave the city? He No, we do. We huh? do sometimes. Apparently we do because she like gestures over to Lancel. Apparently we got. I. I. I would not dare to. Really. to <laughs> stepping <laughs> in and hearing that. It, I think that is blaspheme and offensive towards me and my beliefs. But what did I go you, out? You, as a god, gods? No. Am I missing something? Uh, I don't no. know. <sighs> Absolutely not. There's not in enough case, alcohol in this tavern um, to deal with this. Either way, both of you can come sit down. Mm -hmm. Lancel, are you aware of the area in which you saw these necromancers? Uh, yes, it was uh, just a path leading north just, uh, on the way to Stymore along the road. You know, the usual trade route. Right. Looking at the red dragonborn. He's, uh... He waves, he waves very friendly at, at you and gives you a little smile. My face. <gasps> Are you gonna say it? <laughs> I can't. Say it. I can't. Say it, you coward. <laughs> I can't. You started it, you gotta finish it. <laughs> My face is a little... Is a little just like... There's something going on. Like I am, oh. like I'm making that curious, like squinting you, face. You were so close to greatness, you were goddamn so close. <laughs> It's never gonna happen. I'm not stealing that from Davy. No. Fair. Listen, he can that take would... my howdy at the beginning of game all the time, but yeah, I, <laughs> I'm not taking his face. Yeah, Renee is very much squinting at Lancel. Just. Hmm. <laughs> He is trying, right. <laughs> like, every time he looks at you, Renee, he darts his eyes away, knowing that you are staring at him so intently. Hmm. You want to know what? That has nothing to do up. with me. <laughs> like, not even looking away from, from Lancel, she's going to take the glass that Luna has so kindly filled up for her and You're continue drinking. I am looking <laughs> for right. this fear bulk lady. Uh, I, I'm looking for. Yeah, you'll, you'll she'll she'll arrive eventually. Ah, yeah, Juliana. Time. As Renee is staring at Lancel, and I like look between them. Right. Um. Perhaps now that we are currently winding down, it would be a good time to tell a story. Um. Oh really? Yes. Oh, of course. please. I love your stories, Nathaniel. You know I yeah, do. Right. So um. But just funny me. story then. Uh, mm -hmm. Long ago, I when I was still a junior investigator myself. Ah, uh, as a like motion to Lancel. Lancel I, starts was, just like rolls his eyes and just kind of slumps down into his arms that are crossed on the table. This was before I was the witch taker. Uh, there was a man. He killed an entire family and me and my father were tasked to investigate this. And, and, and we very quickly realized that it was just a specific man. Uh, he was arrested and he was put on trial, but the, uh, the person, uh, the, 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 the justice that was presiding over it was crooked and the man mm. walked free. So mm -hmm. what happens? But the murderer decides that because he is so free and nothing can touch him, he then in the night sneaks into the justice's house and murders him. Oh no! And then, he, the, and then the justice is gone, mm -hmm. and the man is arrested. Mm-hmm. And it is a funny story. Mm-hmm. Riveting. As I'm hilarious. Like sipping, sipping. Um. Fucking so, hilarious. So, yes, um, quite, uh, you, quite the punchline yeah. there. You don't happen Mr. to have Witch any, Taker. I don't know, cheeriest stories for. 
What? No, it's hilarious. He he killed the man that let him walk free. He and you, you, you just see, told the story of yeah. a, a, a man who murdered a family and then murdered a man. You see, the family's not the. <laughs> like Renee looks the most disinterested you've ever seen her. <laughs> you see uh, that Lancel kind of like rolling his hand a little bit. You see, the joke comes from the irony that this man let him loose, and oh, the humility that this very man that he let go came to murder him. It's I. It's ironic, isn't it? Exactly. Oh, very yeah. ironic. Absolutely. And you can see that he has, he has some some like he he's saying this with absolute like boredom. You I'd know, say less I'm, irony I'm, and more, you know, just good riddance to both of them. <laughs> I slide over to Lancel. Yes, hello. Um, I'm on I, alert. <laughs> I, I ask for Renee is squinting at Nathaniel. <laughs> I'm gonna pull out my second to last gold coin. Wait, have you been uh, more drinking? More milk, please. Okay. More milk. More milk, Good. please. Of and course. I, I slide over to Lancel. All right, we don't drink when we're on missions. Do we? wait. I'm She's like, gonna, oh, I'm just gonna refill oh, Renee's waiting. glass. Again. <laughs> Renee's Renee. just gonna down it at this point. Bash it on the table. So, <laughs> like, so I, I have, a, I have an actual, like, <laughs> legitimate question for you, Lancel, and, and more of a biological situation. Um, simply because I'm a little curious as how dragonborns come to be. Well, you no, know, I, 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 there are thoughts that like some are born from eggs, some are born naturally. So, you know, uh, give me some insight. He cocks one eyebrow. And he looks a little disgusted at you. My you... Ar- my alarm is now a train <laughs> running through my brain. I don't quite hey, appreciate. Look, you don't even know how normal people fuck. He... How would you ever expect to know about Dragonborn? He he kind of interrupts hey, listen, Renee a little I bit. Have and... perfor- I have performed <laughs> guys, let many, you go. many times a, a, a birthing Sorry. ceremony. What I'm saying is, is that I don't know how dragonborns are birthed because I've never seen one be birthed. You're an idiot. And he, he looks... How am I the guys, I'm asking let questions! Okay, okay. Let's 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 so he, he, he looks up a little bit and he looks a little confused at the question. And all, like his eyebrows narrow, he looks a little disgusted. Why would you? Yeah. And he, as if a light bulb had appeared above his head. Well, sir, how dragonborns are created is that <laughs> at the end of the rainbows. Yeah, so I believe. Oh, never mind. I love this. Listen, the rain Listen, son, I'm a doctor. I don't need you to be condescending. No, but where I come from, the great <laughs> mighty Lancel, hero of Ruggawood, and a few of the other uh, tavern goers, hey, kind of throw their glass up. <sighs> have been created at the end of a rainbow and a conglomeration of heated gold. <laughs> and he looks to you, Nathaniel, with a big shit-eating grin. I... Isn't I that right? I can't I please, please make an insight on that. I'm gonna say that's a little bit of metagaming there. I raise my eyebrows and I say, yes, that's correct. It's absolutely all entirely correct. Yes, I was born in... A pile of heated gold created by an ancient dragon that flew around it. It was the most precious pieces of gold left over after his cave was taken over and completely plundered. This was all he had left. And after a strong battle and a mighty show of force, he was unfortunately taken down by mere mortals, and in his dying breath, he breathed out the fire to create me. Renee's just dying with what her head on the table. What a beautiful story! What amazing! I feel like he's lying to me. Like... Well, if you feel like he's lying, then you feel like he's lying. <laughs> you. Yes, I do believe that. Is that... <laughs> I feel like that's like what 
adults tell kids that a stork came into the the patch and laid a baby or something like that? That's what we should have told you I'm when you man. were asking about me in school. I'm a man of science. <laughs> well, I, uh, you're you're you are also a man of magic, and he gestures over to your hand. So believe what you wish. But I have the witch taker to back up my claims. And he, of course you do! The witch taker is totally backing you up! He leans back and puts both hands behind his head, satisfied. Oh, All right, fish. well, as interesting as that is, y- y- you know what? I got a meeting to attend to. I will finish up my milk and put nice it back on. Nice talking to you, strangers. The, Mm. Right. Fancy. <laughs> Renee's lip twitches at the word strangers. <laughs> no. It is getting and late, so if I may, he gets up and kind of pushes the table a little bit, himself away from the table. I do have a special... Uh, and he looks at Nathaniel. I do have a special special cottage that has been assigned to me, so I will bid you all good night. <sighs> good yes. night, Mantle. Good night, Lancel. We will see each other in the morning. (laughs) It was an absolute pleasure. He has fear in his eyes when he looks at you, Renee. She's got like this very like, she's she's smiling, but her nose is scrunching. Renee, she down that entire bottle. Holy God. (laughs) No, I down the bottle and the ciders. It's fine. Okay. Um... It's, it's, it's fine. For your bones. I, I think you might want to go lay down. <laughs> oh, I'm, no, I'm going to go for a walk. And now... Because I am warm and I need to cool off. <laughs> I'm just going to kind of trail after her. Yeah, as, as you say that, you're actually stopped by uh, Tapwater, who steps up. You can see he has his back completely straight, and he has two extra arms that are kind of... Deta- it's almost like the arm has been cut down the center and is detached and is cleaning a cup and he gestures over to you. Will you be staying the night in my tavern? I believe so. At least that was is still the plan. Is that the plan we're following? I'm not sure which plans. Yes, yes I, I will buy. I think that's the plan. Ah, I will buy rooms for us. Of course. Oh One room Thank for you. each of you and the inebriated woman. Yes. Mm-hmm. Thank you, Nathaniel. Of course. And that'll be uh, four gold pieces to accompany yes. everybody. I will drop four gold in his hand. Yep. Uh, his hand, his palm kind of like segments, and you can see that there's a little coin slot that they all... And you oh can see God. them roll up his what arm. What is this man? <laughs> <laughs> I love Warforged, man. They're so cool. They're very cool. Thank you. And please, do not throw up on my carpet. I cleaned that this morning. I I am very good with my alcohol. Oh she my like sh- pats the warforged on the cheek, like there, there, my friend. It is fine. I have been inebriated on missions that could have cost my life, so I am very familiar with these feelings. Thank you, Luna. I- could you please <laughs> escort Renee to her room? I will be up shortly. Sure. I'm just, taking just- a walk outside. I need to cool off in the nice night air. <laughs> She like looks over at Nathaniel. Is that all right? <laughs> just... Luna's just gonna lean over to you, Nathaniel. I'll go walking with her, and then I'll make sure she gets up to her room. Yes, please. Uh, and I, then I'm going to look at tap uh, tap water. <laughs> I wouldn't be able to borrow a bucket, would I? <laughs> just in case, <laughs> just in case she needs it. He. His waist turns around with his torso still facing you, uh, walks back behind gross. the bar, and picks up a bucket. His waist twists again, walks towards you, hands it to you. Thank, Thank you for you. this extra cleanup. Thank you so much. I'll, I promise if there's any messes, I'll take care of them. And uh, I'm following <laughs> after Renee. <laughs> oh, sometimes I question the customers that come into my tavern. Once, once they leave, should. sometimes I question. <laughs> once they leave, I am going to give another gold to the uh, to the warforged man. I'm going to say, "Are you going to be busy tonight?" No more busy than usual. I will be cleaning the tavern, ready for the next day. Fantastic! Fantastic! When the elven lady returns to her room, please ensure that she does not sneak off in the night. Most likely, she will try to use a window. Interesting. Of course, sir. I will 
I will make sure that they are barred. <laughs> and I give him a coin. Yep. And then I am going to go upstairs, giving Renee and Luna time to get a head start. I will go to my room. I will take off my hat and I will neatly fold my large yellow coat and I will lay it on my bed. I will take a sigh. And then I am going to exit my room so that I can stealthily follow them. <gasps> oh, oh, shit. Oh, okay, we're going to get back to this. Oh. Well, right after Enoch, mm-hmm. as you Perfect. sit in a secluded spot, um, you do see that Mirth enters and does not anticipate you as they, they see you. They, they uh, get excited a little bit, but then you see that they, they seem to remember something and then they just like, oh, oh and then uh, just kind of wave at you and uh, head up to their room. I give him a, a signal that, you know, I appreciate seeing his presence. And they give you a thumbs up in return and a smile and they head, head upstairs. And right behind them, just like, boom, bangs open the tavern door and you can see that it is Juliana in her wheelchair and she rolls on up to you and she goes, tap water, I want water tap water. Of course, Juliana. Here you go, chief. And hands her a cup. You. And she look. She points at you with her non-hook arm. Enoch. Howdy. We speak now. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, I'm good at that. Yeah. That. Mm-hmm. She points to your arm. Where did you learn that? <sighs> um... <laughs> years of training and design and passion and desire and I made it myself. Hmm. That is good work, she says. Still frowning. You see that she's got a perpetual frown on her face. Me, she she taps on her wheelchair. I invent this myself as well. I learn things, gain experience. Yeah, I mean, you are outstanding, honestly. Uh, th- yes, uh, I know. I am outstanding. Yes, you are. <laughs> there's a there's a song in, in Enoch's head playing right now. I want, um, but I want to know how you learn specifics. He kind of pauses on that. There is... There is a part of me who is far more better. And sometimes when I relinquish what I am on the forefront, they come forward. Ah, typical deal with devil. Old news. I'm not interested in that. So, shame. It's not a deal with the devil. It's... But it's a lot to do with what I am. All have different names. All want the same thing. Uh, more celestial. Bah, devil by different color. I suppose so. Hmm. Uh, anyway, I, I, I know how it's done. I, I just... It takes time to process. I mean, I, I have a lot of skills in engineering. Uh, a lot of medical practice. Uh... I think you're a you're a pretty swell gal and I would love to know more about you yes I am great gal I am big game hunter invent this wheelchair take care of the town against necromancers and protectors but I like upgrades and I'd like to know if you help you do help, yes? You are an adventurer? You come from outside town? You like pay? I have plenty coin to spare. Well, I I, I certainly can help. Uh, at, at my current circumstance, not immediately, but... And I want to I... not help that satyr, mirth, with their inventions, haywire, not understanding that very good, really, really bad at inventing. They are unreliable. I just think he need, 
I, I just think he might need a little bit of a... Uh, not inspiration, but rather a good teacher. You know, I... Things always blew up in my face when I started doing all this. I, it takes time to make something. And look what happened. And she gestures over to your arm. Opportunity. Failure is good time for opportunity. Look look at me. And she gestures over to her wheelchair. Without losing leg, I not learn how great I am. Enoch pauses on some thoughts. There are definitely certain perceptions within this profession. I'd be more than happy to upgrade and put time towards your towards your wheelchair and and assist in this town to the best of my ability. I I have traveled Belkinus before, but I also think that the more hands on deck, the easier the work can be. And you know, uh, somebody who's just learning is also somebody that's willing to take opportunities. And I think someone like you who is strong and also very bright that I can see, it would be an honor to help and also it would be very interesting to work with you hmm good she just kind of uh, puts one fist on the table then it is agreement I think over what to do with mirth mayhap they I learn think... even if dangerous and blow up an entire town in process if I may make one recommendation. What? Try and find a way to make a workshop. The uh, a much more, not too isolated, but definitely a place where if something does happen, it can't negatively affect the rest of the community. She scratches her chin a bit and eyes kind of like her eyebrow raises and her frown becomes less of a frown. That good idea! Equip everybody with great wheelchair! You smart man! <laughs> Aggressive accessibility. <laughs> now give everyone multi fire crossbow! Yep. Necromancer that is exactly not what I was town. thinking. Mm -hmm. That is exactly what I was thinking. Give everyone the opportunity to be able to defend themselves so that way the town could be properly defended. Yes. Good. And she takes her glass of water and gulps it down in one swig. It's about like the size of like an orc fist. Oh. And you can see just a massive gulp go down her throat. And she slams it on the table. Good talk. We talk more some other time. You a traveler. I know you go around a lot. You come back here. We start. That sounds like a mighty fine deal. And I extend my metal arm out. You, you metal one then. Yeah. She takes it, and you, she she shakes it, and uh, roll something. Oh god, she's gonna pull it off. <laughs> <laughs> she can try, but it's not coming off until I'm unconscious. Oh, she does not pull it off, but she grips it. If you could feel, you could feel crushing weight. Her grip is strong. And she, I, she lets go. I After feel one nothing firm in this arm. shake, she lets go and gives and gives you a farewell. Heads out of the bar, and I Tapwater walks over and hands you a key, a room. Your companion paid for it. Tapwater, what? Can I ask you a personal question? No, of course, not many do. I love sharing. Aww. What happens? Uh, what happens? If per se, like you have increased blood pressure when you meet someone, but you don't dislike them. Ah, I think uh, that is called acquaintances or friendship. If it is stronger, <gasps> I know I have made quite a few friends. And although I don't have blood the same way that you do, I do feel as though I am attached to them. And I do want to do things without any benefit to myself. But... What if it's like, 
I, I can't describe it. Probably more than like. Oh, God. Oh, goddess. Oh, no. <sighs> I think oh. that is some feelings that you must search for yourself. Perhaps I could recommend a therapist. <laughs> you, oh, you begin oh, to oh, see him take oh, off his hat and he pulls over his chair. hood. He pulls over his hood and he begins to just think upon feelings of what is a crush. I will let you be here with your thoughts. And he takes the empty glass and heads back to cleaning up the rest of the tavern. How do you make all these S tier level NPCs, Joe? What's it's amazing. amazing. <laughs> How do you do this? I love Absolutely them. Fantastic. Nathaniel, I love them. you tail along the girls that are heading outside while Renee is drunk off her ass. <laughs> so, Luna and Renee, you actually, would you what? guys like to do competing roles for this? Sure. Competing roles to see if you to notice see Nathaniel. What? Yes. No, Gabby? Renee's too drunk. I'm not gonna do no? it. Okay. I would like to. I, Renee I would is like too to drunk. So. She doesn't, also, she's not paying attention. She does not care. How right do you now. feel about it, Debbie? Uh, I will be following them as long as. Uh, I'm not gonna follow them for the entire time. I just want to try to see if I if they're going towards where Lancel is staying, and if not, then I have a different thing in mind. Oh, are they? I have no uh, idea. Renee's just walking. She doesn't know where, where, is, where so she's probably going. Probably not. She, yeah. I kind of imagine like me just be passing by. Like, to land on it. Like I don't care. I just right. kind of imagine me, uh, me and Renee are going on a walk past like a couple like patches of farmland or like cows or something. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh, in that case, if you're going off into farmland, I don't know where the fuck that's going. So that's that's its own business. <laughs> uh, in that case. Y'all let you guys do your thing. I'm going to ask around to see where the hero Lancel is staying Eb, so you guys can do your thing. So yeah, Luna and Renee are walking along the path kind of like as the sun has completely set it now, but the, the sky is still like a dim red. Luna is... Uh, I think I'm going to do it on the scabbard of one of my swords. I'm just going to cast light so that we have a light. Mm-hmm. Aw, nice. Uh... And she's had a fair amount of alcohol, but Luna carries her alcohol pretty well. Uh, you, on the other hand, she is like trying to make sure you're like not stumbling around. You're walking in a decently Renee, straight like, line. You're not about to like break an ankle on a pothole. Renee is know? like walking fairly straight, but like the, the one thing that you can definitely tell, like how you can definitely tell she's drunk, her head is just bobbing side to side. Like anything else, you probably couldn't tell that much, but her head just is not staying up. So it's just lobbing side to side. Are you sure you want to go on this, this walk? I mean, don't get me wrong, I understand. You know, taverns are stuffy, and you clearly have some things that you need it's, to It's It's fine. I, I need to cool off. I am getting irritated, and I don't like it when I get tangly, but woof! What has that, gotten you so angry? Just, I, mm, I do not like that man. I do not care for him. The dragon the way that he keeps the... Mm. She just, like, looks over to Luna, like... Have I been doing a piss spell job so far? Mm, no. No. Then why am I here? Why am I sticking around? Am I, t- I just... Mm. I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. It makes sense not to know. There are so many things that I don't know, and I totally understand it. I just never seen that before. Just what, mm. Nathaniel acting like that? She oh. just nods, and she looks over like, "What? What kind of mission is he on that's so important? Huh? That he can't drink? That he has to keep things? He is a terrible liar! I don't even understand what he is doing." Have you considered asking him yourself? He wouldn't tell me even if I asked. Well, why don't we go find out? Oh no! (laughs) She just lets out an exasperated sigh. And it's just, there are so many things that I have asked and he has not told me. And it's been fine up to this point. 
point. I mean, I've been mad before, and it was, but it was fine. I've never let it control my work like this. Renee, may I ask something? She just nods. And uh, she's Luna's like kind of putting her arm around your shoulder as we're walking because she's seeing you're kind of getting tizzed up. Do you have anyone else in Belknus that you associate with? She shakes her head. You feel like her her hand kind of squeezes your shoulder gently, and she kind of tug as we're walking tugs you just kind of a little bit closer, like half hug. Do you think maybe you feel like you're being replaced instead of? And maybe that's where these feelings are coming from. This anger might be coming from. <laughs> like, you've... Renee has always been like this, like, purse, like, I am always in control. She looks like a, like, a 12-year-old just got their toy taken away. <laughs> in the best in the best way of explaining it, she just kind of, like, <laughs> rubs her eyes a bit. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe these are feelings you should make aware to Nathaniel, then. Because, well, outside of looking in, I don't think anybody can replace you. <laughs> you two bounce off of each other incredibly naturally. The, the way you two communicate is almost supernatural. I don't think a bond like that can be broken without you or him realizing it. Perhaps this is just a misunderstanding of some kind. Talk to him. <laughs> Tell him, don't, don't talk, don't go to him demanding answers. Tell him how, how it emotions you're feeling. If, if you keep the focus on talking about yourself and saying that this is how you feel, it might make him a bit more inclined to tell you. Or at least at least ease some of those fears. She just like, takes a breath. Okay. I, I think that is a good idea. I think I'll do it. Yeah, just maybe tomorrow when you're not drunk. Don't get me wrong, I understand that's absolutely tempting too, but I can tell you from multiple experiences, it's not a good idea to bring those kind of feelings up when you're not uh, entirely in control of no, your emotions. No, you're right, right. I was lying when I said I've been this drunk before. This is the worst I've ever been. This is the worst. <laughs> I, I kind of figured that. I was... I was just trying to, uh, <laughs> just like lightly tapping at Luna's arm as she's saying this, like trying to finish her sentences, but not just. Uh, no, no, no I, I, I kind of figured that. Um, no offense, but you're kind of small, and uh, you drank an entire bottle of wine. <laughs> it's fine. I'll be fine. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm sure. I'm sure you're going to be just fine. Let's just get get back. Yes, okay. if there's necromancers around, I'd rather not have to fight them drunk. No, you're like, oh, I've been drinking on the job! <laughs> <laughs> and Luna just like, Luna just hugs you. She's like, there, there, it's okay. Oh no, he's going to think so, he's going to think so low of me. No, 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 I, I think he's more concerned with the amount you're drinking, not that you're drinking on the job. It's going to be okay. And she's like, just patting your back, like, no, no, it's all right. Okay, I think that's good. That's probably where it's going to be clear. That's good. And and uh, we head over to Nathaniel, and about this time, it's probably around <laughs> night time now. Good. Uh, Enoch is having a time. Yeah. I, Enoch is definitely having a time. He's sitting in a corner table, just like hands together in prayer, just like oh. face deep in his hands, like, oh. Sorry, this wasn't a scene. I just heard you go. <laughs> just, uh, anyway, okay. Yes. So. Uh, I, after asking around, I assume I can figure out where Nathan, not yeah. Nathaniel, that's me, where <laughs> Lancel is staying. Yes, easily. And people point to you in good high spirits where he's at. Mm -hmm. um, and, uh, no yes, problem. you're able to find the cottage, uh, where he supposedly stays at. And you can see that there is a small little, uh, kind of various different crates and stuff outside, uh, a what looks to be a old rundown uh what is it uh the thing the thing that uh care not caravan carriage carriage that's the one a real old rundown carriage with no roof 
um, sitting outside. It seems that, that it's mostly been used as a makeshift wheelbarrow <laughs> to haul things. You can see that there's I various see. different bags and stuff. Um, and he's he's staying in a cottage. He is, yes. I'm going to do a, a once around the cottage so that I can see all of the entry points. Uh, How easy is it to break inside of this thing? Yes, you can see that it, it's it's a pretty basic square home uh, with like a small little attached like extra point coming out. You guess probably a bathroom of some kind. Um, various different windows. Um, it is a very humble living quarter. The door out front. But all of mm. the windows have curtains shut. Okay. How many exits? Uh, let's see. Door... <laughs> I'm making you come up with a crazy... I'm so sorry. Uh, six exits. One door, five windows. The door. Uh, is it open or closed? It is closed and presumably locked. I see. Uh, I'm going to walk up to the door. I'm going to very gently try the handle to see if it is indeed locked. Yep, the handle doesn't turn any which way aside from a few centimeters. Mm -hmm. Okay, I could knock on the door. Yep. Instead, I'm going to pick the lock. <sighs> and uh, it doesn't take too much. You're what? Because uh, yeah, you don't. <laughs> I'm a. Oh, do I not need to roll? Because <laughs> no, no, you Oops. don't need to roll. You're able to pick, just out of, out of like eventual time, <laughs> even if you finagle it a little bit. Eventually, mm -hmm. you are able to unlock it. Very simple. And then I will open the door. All right. You open the door, and inside you see Lancel laying awake, and he looks to the ceiling. He is tossing a small ball in his hand, and he doesn't take a glance at you at all at you coming in. No reaction. Father, why is it that you always insist to do that? Don't you know privacy? I do, but others might not. Did you hear me coming in? I did. Good. I take a step inside and I'll close the door. When you're not in Belkinus, anybody could potentially be a threat. But as much as I am aggravated that you did it, you have done a lot of good here, and it seems that everyone respects you greatly. He stops playing with his ball and turns from laying down to sitting on his bed. I don't mean to be so, stri so strict, but you understand why I have to be, right? He turns his head to the side. There are a lot of dangers in this world. And if I am not prepared, then the worst may happen. And more importantly, eventually you are going to take over my business. Meaning you are going to inherit my problems. There's nothing I can do about that. And it's not even that you might not want to. Clearly, you want to be an adventurer to save the world, to help people. Meaning, you have chosen your route. Inevitably, it's going to lead to me. He looks down and doesn't say anything, but nods. That's... I'm not chastising you. I'm reminding you of the burden that you're going to have to face. And I suppose going out on these excursions is preparing you for that event you, you are getting worldly knowledge I and he looks about the room his tongue f twisting itself to avoid saying it before he manages to flatten it out he slowly raises his head and leans in from his seat I am Proud of you. And tears fill his eyes. And he goes to wipe them with his arm. Thank you, Father. But of course, I won't be proud of you if you manage to get yourself killed tomorrow. You always have to ruin the moment. Yes, I will go back home. No. You're going on the journey with us. His eyes widen. What? What? Not the full journey, but I don't know the layout as well as you do. I don't know the people. You do. So I'm going to need your help. Are you capable of that? He stands up and 
looks over to his sword sheathed in the corner and nods. I am a witch taker. Hmm. Well then, right now, I'm off the clock. I don't have my outfit, the garish yellow thing. I'm not a witch taker. I'm simply father. And he smiles as his composure breaks and his straight back turns and just he starts sobbing. <sighs> that said, that said, witch taker or not, you are not allowed to talk to that elf. He, he wipes his tears a bit and sniffles. Yeah, she seemed pretty upset. Very nice person. You're simply not allowed to talk to her. Not, it's not because of anything you said or she said. Well, it is what she said. She is very shrewd, very cunning. She will get to the bottom of this immediately. So, for you, for our own sake, I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with you, but you aren't the best at lying. Again, not trying to be rude. No. But she's very good at, at deciphering the truth. Of course not. But, Father, this does not have to be decided upon soon, if you need time. But I am happy to be your son, and I am proud of the things that we do. But perhaps one day I would like to not hide it anymore. <laughs> Let us go on this journey. I don't know what I am going to think after that, but it will be enough. I am uh, quite exhausted after today. If uh, I could get some rest, and I think you need some as well. So, yes. Thank you, Dad. Yes. Rest, perhaps. I have a lot to think about. Thank you, son. He nods and, and a little smile perks up. I'm gonna open the door. And as I just take a half step out, I say, um, change your locks. They're too easy to fix, to crack. And then he closes the door. <laughs> <laughs> and I think that's a good place to call tonight's session. Uh, <laughs>